Hello, everyone. Welcome to Untold Realms, the Reclamation. My name is Briar. I don't host this shit, so I'm gonna give it to the guy that does. Hello, Yasha. Hello, hello. Welcome back in. Welcome to the Reclamation, my campaign about undeath and making my players <laughs> suffer. <laughs> or give them little dragon pets, apparently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you chuckles. As, as you may know, we will be uh, one person short today. Um, Angels, unfortunately, is sick. So his character, while the rest of the party may try to wake him up, um, is said to just be hungover drunk after he went and drank the entire bottle of wine last mm-hmm. session. It was some good shit, though. <laughs> yeah. It, it won't be too much of a problem, though, for uh, the continuation, though, because uh, today we will be mostly in the camp. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. out of the way, though. Roleplay time. Roleplay time. Does anyone have anything they want to say to me before we start the session? Can you give a recap of what happened for those who weren't there last time? <laughs> I can me. very much do that. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Wee. <laughs> oh, wee. So, Wee. last session, we uh, first finished off what was supposed to happen last last session, and that was uh, in the barn, they finally, after the fight with the undead, uh, got to the backpack, found that there are some supplies in there, as well as a map with a location of a uh, camp, and a description of, yeah, go there, uh, people friendly, please go. Mm. <laughs> So uh, they they Salt made their way their way, way. <laughs> they made their way there, crossed the river in a very precarious way. Uh, definitely never <laughs> a risk of anyone falling into that thing. <laughs> <laughs> never. The rope didn't. We were all safe. <laughs> you saved yeah, yourself about sure. half a day's of travel with that. So hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, eventually make themselves to the camp. Turns out there's a gigantic, actually living tree among all of the uh, non-living plants anymore. Wait, what, had a ring? They had a ring of uh, flourishing... Well, flourishing grass around it. <laughs> flourishing in quotation marks there. It was not that healthy. But it was life, unlike everything else. Uh, the camp contained mostly people that just didn't mind the newcomers. We had a small discussion of a group around a blacksmith, found at least two fairy creatures. Uh, had a nice conversation with Henry for a little bit. <laughs> Thirteen found out that her, her stone, which uh, two party members already told her was fake, uh, was indeed fake from another person and started to doubt her mistress? Yep. Yes, a mistress. Calypso. <laughs> and was pulled in front of the trial of guards because uh, her oath was indeed formulated very stupidly and very strictly to never doubt. Anyway, she's not an oath breaker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to oaths. They are very literal. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Uh, her entire armor is now black instead of silver. She still has the rest Way of superior. As you can see on her current picture. Her mask she also, also got cracked. rid of her mask. Yeah, yes. She didn't cracked. get rid of it. She still has it. It just cracked. It's Oh, she isn't wearing it, right? Yeah. Um, other than that, they also met Miranda, the... I'm not going to say arch druid, but essentially at this point she is that mate to the tree. Uh, Shikari got his uh, little dragon. I'm not sure Woo-hoo! you named him last nope. session. Nope, I didn't. Well, we will get there this session then. And uh, she made some mysterious remark about your heritage. Dead. And a little <laughs> bit of a conversation with Alexander. And then outside, I think. Mars, Memphis, and 13 had a little bit of a wind down moment yep. with making each other's hair, and That's someone was knocking on my door and back. 
<laughs> we had a, a fucking sleepover for some reason. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> How about them Celtics? <laughs> I don't do sports. <laughs> sports ball. Woo. What the? <laughs> what the heck? What? What? You got a problem? What? <laughs> you ain't talking. talking. I'm talking here. Just had some <laughs> come in because uh, we gotta order food later on. Hell yeah. Good. Is food, why food is, is my good. living room light still on? Hold on. Mm, food. No, in the darkness, where my head doesn't <laughs> hurt. Thank you very much. Anywho. And so you just continue while I uh, figure out what burger I'm going to order. Good God, we're talking oh, about yeah. nothing. Why is this a question every... every... Sometimes <laughs> people need to look at a menu because those people are weird and don't have a set meal that they get everywhere, like chicken nuggets and mac and yeah, cheese. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I usually decide between a crispy chicken burger and a burger with egg. Egg? Egg. egg. We both know you, you're not satisfied with one burger. It's a burger and a fries. I'm not going to get two burgers, <laughs> fuck no. I I love you, but I'm not getting that. Oh, okay, all right, okay, all right. When... Your Angel, fault. <laughs> Angels has asked a question. If your character had to eat one meal for the rest of time, what would it be? If my character... Yeah. I'm a panda, it's bamboo. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Damn. This, is character, this is a character building food. exercise, damn it! Come or, on. or a food, food, food kind. Kind of food. Chikari. Pick your answer. Edible. That's, no, uh -huh. that's not an answer. <laughs> Actually, you know what I like? That is an answer, but it's a shitty answer. Try again. <laughs> potato soup with bread. Ooh, potato soup. Nice. Ooh. Uh, uh, I think 13 would probably eat, eat like, like pancakes or something like that, just because she uh, doesn't usually eat something that's sweet. So it's just like, ah, this one thing that's very sweet and tasty and you can put shit on it. Mine. <laughs> Surely, surely that will not have consequences in the future when I only eat that. What do you mean? Just, just uh, make savory pancakes. Just uh, put bacon in pancakes. Easy. I mean, he's a ranger, so he probably would eat the animal he killed the most or something. Oof. I thought you were going to say berries or something, but hell yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Berries would be good, but I don't think if, that he can eat that much. Just eat the whole last forest. <laughs> yeah, that's the <a> problem. <laughs> I mean, kill the whole last forest isn't better, but hey. Uh, go eat Optimum. grass, I guess. I mean, what? <laughs> grass, yeah. Don't eat grass. I always wanted to be a cow. Don't eat grass. Grass is very good. <laughs> um, what would moss eat? Uh, I wouldn't say he's completely vegetarian, but like that's his most prominent of food, so I'd say he'd probably eat um either he'd eat uh blackberries or um I'm trying to think one one of those um it's not it's a it's a specific type of watermelon. It's like the the very small one you'd see in uh, some stores, and like the inside is yellowish orange. Oh, the uh, sweet melons. A cantaloupe. A cantaloupe. Um, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and we just know them as sweet melons. Yeah, he, he's a sweet boy. They are. <laughs> sweet boy. Don't depress. You're denying your appendix its purpose. My appendix can fuck off in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I do not need an appendix. That makes me hungry. <laughs> I, I have ordered food. Is, did everyone yeah. uh, get choose their meal yes. for the characters? 
Take that for angels, yeah. Come from angels. Angels, put your food in the chat at some point. <laughs> um, <laughs> otherwise. Alexander just eats massive amounts of, like, ham. Looks like a ham guy. <laughs> just eats uh... an ham raw out of the can. <laughs> <laughs> can me, can me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. God. <laughs> God, you're making me want the Oreos that are in my closet right now. Fuck. <laughs> Oreos. I just want to eat anything. I don't care. Go, go, go get a snack. No, 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 that is a lie. I don't have any. So, somebody's got to go to Aldi. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Actual game time? Actual game time, indeed it is. Nice. Let's go. Welcome. Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You all made it to the camp. You um, experienced your first evening there and everything that happened. And I think we're left after, after everyone went to sleep. So, uh... We, we gonna... browns, angel... Really? <laughs> Hell yeah, hash browns. Hash browns are delicious. Ooh, I, like I hear other house. things. Yeah. I hear other things. I mean, it depends <laughs> on what sort of it, if if they're like just from McDonald's or an unnamed brand I mean, with a big yellow M. <laughs> the ones at McDonald's are okay if they're fresh. Dak Monalds. Dak Monalds. <laughs> yeah. God. Any gay. Uh... <laughs> Well, wait, 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 did you just say any gay? He did. Yes. Because... I think I just cringed out of my skin. One of my friends said so I just cringed out of my skin. Alex, please. My skeleton is walking away. It's, it, oh, it's on the balcony and it jumped. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's a hey, okay. That sounds so 2005. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get over this. Somebody, please. This is the game. Yeah, like, no. Okay, yeah. Uh, we we were about hours. to go to sleep. It's, it's late <laughs> evening time, right? <laughs> oh god. But yes, you you all wake up. Uh, I'm not sure what the who went into what tent uh because the tents can indeed hold up to two people at that point it's a little bit uncomfortable though otherwise there is enough tents for everyone can i can i can i do thing in the night yes yes you may Ooh. yes um i'm he's probably gonna not fall asleep for for quite the time with uh be being by 13 side if that's what she wants you're good she'd kind of associate at this point yeah yeah just sort of taking care of her making sure she drinks something um and then at some point a bit later in the night he will uh go out and go go through the camp with his his little backpack on and he will go to the edge of the circle yeah it's of the consecrated grounds. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Uh, before stepping outside, he will make sure that there's no, like, zombies just immediately out of outside the, 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 the premises. Mm, you can do me a perception check if you want. Uh, I need a sheet. Mm. Uh, perception. Yes, you got a reminder to open your character sheets. I had it open, it's just all the way back. It was <laughs> somewhere on the monitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 17. That's pretty 17. good. 17. That's, that's pretty good, pretty good. You look around, it is a pretty still evening. You can notice that the clouds that have been forming uh, the last couple of nights are getting more. Oh, so we got rain on the horizon? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But there, there is a no one dead anywhere around. Okay. Um, he will step like uh, f fifteen feet outside of the consecrated circle, set on his little pack, get out the mask, and put it on. And little so, rat man. 
Yeah. <laughs> red man <laughs> with red mask. And I'm guessing it doesn't do anything immediately. Or no nothing. It, really. It feels oddly familiar and oddly comfortable. But other than that, no, it's just a mask. It doesn't do anything to you immediately. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um, I'm going to... <sighs> walk towards the consecrated circle and I want to I want to I want to touch it <laughs> as you do so as you get close to the circle itself um mm -hmm. you feel a bit of an aversion to trying to cross it yes just as a subconscious thing um I should have had these notes open earlier <laughs> <laughs> Uh, b -b 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 spells, consecrate, consecrate, grants, grants, the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as, as you try and uh, touch it, essentially, or try and put your hand through across, um, it's almost as if you touch a wall. It's it's not rough or anything. If anything, the feeling would be comparable to touching glass. Mm -hmm. It is a hundred percent smooth. And where you touch what is essentially a barrier, um, you can see just the faintest bit of light exactly where your hand is. That's cool. Uh, then I will try to actively push against it and like push into it essentially trying to walk into the circle um no was there a safe to this <laughs> you die no 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 it's it's more of <laughs> no. a was there a safe to try and actually make it through because it is it's Consecrate Grounds, isn't it? God, but where is it? Spells. Yeah. Rooted Grounds. That's interesting. It is kind of annoying because I didn't prep this proper. That was my mistake. Uh... Fuck it, we wing it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> if, if need be i'll look it up later but yeah. um as you try it's hallowed grounds thank you angels jesus fucking christ <laughs> yes it's not consecrated it's hallowed hallowed no it's hallow can't enter the area. Yeah, hello, fifth level spell. Yep. Yeah. They're just unable to enter completely. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah, okay. As, as you try yeah. and uh, move your entire area towards it, your hands stretched out a little bit so you don't plant your face as you... <laughs> already noticed yeah this this is a very solid barrier yeah like push your body up against it it does not move and if anyone from like the opposite side were to look it would look like one of those cats sitting on a like no no more like trying to sit on a glass pane like if oh. you try and push yourself against it it yeah. really is as if this is glass like when your sibling is outside of the car door and just sort of pressing their face against it. Yeah. 
there is there is a slight bit of light, obviously, especially as you try and like put me try and like get your face a little bit closer to it. Yeah. You can see it in your eyes that it, it doesn't need light up in a little bit bluish green. Mm-hmm. But other than that. You don't get right. yeeted back, you don't you don't hurt or anything like that, but you cannot enter. Uh one more thing he will try to do is he'll take the mask back off and then he, he knows like where the barrier is, so he will stick one hand Yeah, he'll stick one hand inside and then put the mask back on. Oh you take yeah, okay. As, as you take it off, first of all, yeah, nothing happens as you try and reach your hand across as you are indeed now. Human. No longer seemingly undead. Mm. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. The moment you put on the mask, it hurts. It's not physical pain, but it is enough to make you flinch. And I'm guessing I can just pull back out and yes. then have it. The... Okay. Okay. D you do not take damage from this now. Not with just one arm. Yeah. Do did it feel like any sort of particular? <laughs> it it <laughs> very. Um. Radiant. It doesn't have any particular pain like that you would recognize or remember it's yeah. it's more of a it was a pain deep in your muscles deep in like your entire arm deep into the bone was hurting in a fashion but at the same time you know that there wasn't anything actually damaging it thank you that that is that is incredibly cool. Um, yeah, he will he will note like take the mask back off, sit down, note everything down, uh, and then basically pack up, go back in, <laughs> <laughs> act like nothing happened, you know, and then nothing happened. You can uh, make and, me and... a religion or arcana check to see what exactly that pain means. Yes, arcana. And I'm basing this off of what of of what saving throw this would have been if you had put your entire body in. Um. <laughs> yeah, twelve. Not, not yeah, too great. Twelve is unfortunately not enough. For yeah, that. yeah. You know that it wasn't necessarily physical, but that's about it. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back. Uh, and. I'm gonna say curl up in 13's tent. He he sleeps Yo. like embryo, so it, it's he doesn't take up much space. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, the, these tents have one very shoddily made wooden bed that doesn't even have like any bedding on top of it proper. Yeah. Um, and enough space for one more person and what seems to be a, a small wooden chest. Nothing locked, there is nothing in it, but just enough to maybe put in some stuff that you don't want on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, just gonna uh, get out my bedroll. Eep. Eepy. Eep little very, baby. Very eepy rat. Eat sleepy. Yeah. Hello. Anyone else that wants to do something at night? Um... No one has the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Cuddling with the Drake. Like there is a lot going on. Thirty's just like no pass out. <laughs> um Same. Moss I I would like Moss to like after the whole talk a discussion like obviously i say like moss probably left the tent and um 
I would like him to have him like explore around the whole place. Um, you mean the tents specifically, or around the entire uh, tree? Around the entire tree. All right. Do me an investigation check. Perfecto. A ten. Okay. Um, a lot of the same stuff that you you saw yesterday. This camp seems to be made somewhat in front of the opening of um, the tree that you all went in yes uh, last night or last evening. Um, but there are a couple of tents that are a little bit offshoot. One you know was the blacksmith's tent, um, but there are a couple others. One of them seems a little bit different as well, but you cannot oh. tell if there's even anyone in there. Um, oh. But it seems that that tent is actually... The, the door, not the door, the flap for some reason seems a lot more locked than the others do, but it is still a leather lock. It is still a leather flap. It's just, while in the others in the wind would flap around, this one seems static. Um, Moss is going to go to that peculiar tent and see what's going on. Um, are you trying to go in, or are you trying to observe from the outside? Uh, he's gonna observe from the outside first. Um, do me a perception check. Perception. That's a 20, baby. Dirty 20. Oh, hell yeah. Um, it, it takes you like a second or two to make out what exactly is in the tent because there isn't movement in there it it is indeed night or early night people are probably asleep um however you can see a little bit of a shadow of someone sitting on what is probably the bed in there and after a couple of seconds, you recognize a little bit of the stature. This is Jessica's tent. Oh. Oh, and boy. She, seem, she seems to be a little bit hunched over, handling something, writing something, or God knows what she's doing. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Is she saying anything? Nope. You can hear a bit of like clattering. Like she, she's obviously doing something, but you have no clue what's happening. Uh... Hmm. Like what kind of clattering? Like like metal or like she's gathering books or something? Um from the outside of a tent, difficult to tell. Um, you can very much make out that she's interacting with something. Actually, Dirty 20, yeah, you can you can make out that she's interacting uh, with something that she has in her backpack. Like, you can hear the leather. Um, but what exactly she is doing in there, no clue. Like, you, you can make out a like, there is several sounds that are going on as she's not quite rummaging through it, but a lot of things get touched as she is doing something in there. It's rude to spy, but it's got my curiosity. Uh, <laughs> can Moss try and, like, uh, open the flap door opening thing? J just a little, just to get a peek. You want to be quiet about all of that? Yes. <laughs> Do me a stealth check. Oh boy. Thank Jesus you. Christ, an 18. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Jessica, good old Jessica. What did I say your things were? Oh boy. 
But she would be trying to pay somewhat of an attention. It's not just passive. Um, yeah. that, that. Oh, my fucking yes, GM roll. Is it GM roll? Yes. Jesus Christ, you're lucky. <laughs> you approach the tent and like you you open just the smallest slit just to look in um mm -hmm. the tent first of all the tent doesn't seem to give that much weight but since you're not trying to rip it open fully it's like trying to peek through a lock on a door ah you're basically putting in a finger. It's not giving way that much, but there is enough movement that you can peek in. And mm -hmm. what you heard from the outside and what you saw, she is hunched over her backpack, and you can make out that she is currently handling a very ornate dagger, something that you didn't see yesterday because she didn't have... Uh, not yesterday. That's something you didn't see in the office because you didn't have it out. This dagger oh. is a curved dagger with gold and black inlays. Oh. Uh, specifically one set of runes alongside what would be the blade, not the actual cutting edge, but like the back of the blade. Um, you cannot fully tell what is on the handle, as that is where her hands are. Um, and she seems to be taking out a couple of things out of her backpack, cleaning the dagger, making sure it's sharp, cutting like a piece of fabric, just to make sure it's like in pristine condition. How long do you want to observe that happening? Or are you going to wait until she stops? I'm gonna wait until she did, does anything else besides, like, uh, refining the dagger. It but if she's only doing that, then she, she, she then Mas is probably gonna like sneak away. It takes her a couple of minutes to like um, fully finish up. You can notice that she is cutting um the same piece of paper a couple of times and each time it goes through with a lot more ease um and after a few minutes i'm going to need you to actually no not not now that would be happening oh. when you do something new when you're your old stuff um after a couple of minutes, she puts it away. Similar to how she pulled out the wine in Henry's office, she seems to be sticking it up her own back. But you notice that she's opening a flap. You cannot quite tell from this angle what it, what exactly is going on there. But somewhere in her armor seems to be space where there shouldn't be any. Oh. Other than that, she closes up her backpack and seems to be getting ready to sleep. Huh. Um, so, I, do I see anything from when she opened the backpack? Um, the backpack itself seems to be a pretty irregular. Um, there were no expensive items in the backpack that you could see. Um, but you were able to see that there were some rations in there. She obviously pulled out some maintaining equipment for a weapon. But other than that, uh, not particularly. Okay, Miles is going to take a mental note of this. And then he's going to, uh, like, seeing that she's going to get ready for bed, uh, Miles is going to do a sneaky sneak and leave. All right, re-roll re me stealth on that. <laughs> nice gods, please. 
<laughs> 13. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have a reroll perception. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, as you leave, you can still somewhat see, like, shadows from the inside, as she did have a little bit of a light source in the room, but nothing much. Um, you can see her move, look over just a little bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> For one second, you think you've been caught. But then she's like, oh, there's, there's other people in the camp, and, and she turns around. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, is gonna, like, kind of mentally breathe a sigh of relief, and then she's gonna <laughs> leave. <laughs> Moss is gonna get the fuck out of there. <laughs> he going, he leaving. <laughs> Oh boy. But yeah, uh, Moss is going to quickly leave far away from the tent. And uh, yeah, he he's going to just keep on looking around the whole uh, camp area to see if there's anything that piques his interest before he goes back to hit, uh, to a tent to sleep. Um, There isn't that much that you notice at uh, point. Actually, you, you can you can really roll me investigation because that, that 10 brought you to the first thing. Yeah, I got you. Oh, heck yeah. Jesus Christ, another dirty 20. <laughs> yeah. <Jesus. laughs> um, I'm actually going to ask Memphis when exactly are you doing your thing? Are you waiting a couple of hours before you do that, or...? Um... I mean, he might catch me sneaking out at that point, so yeah, he, he would do it later. You, you'd like... be waiting till people are asleep? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and, and... Mars is doing it pretty early while people are just going to sleep. Okay. <laughs> no, that is fair. It's not just like, mm, that could be a thing. Oh, no. Okay, that, that is very fair. Um, in that case, as you go around, especially behind the tree, uh, search mm -hmm. around a bit there, you notice what is a graveyard. Oh. You notice... Oh, boy. <laughs> Places that were clearly dug up and dug back down. Um, there are some wooden planks in there with names on it. But it is up to you to, if you want to read those. Um, hmm. I'm gonna... Monster's gonna... Uh look over at the at the names that are most visible. Um the ones in the front, they seem to be the most recent as well. Um you don't you don't recognize any of these, I can tell you that much, but uh I'm gonna grab my list here. Yeah. One second. <laughs> Just a list of dead people. <laughs> it's it's the list of people that they were able to have buried here instead of, Aww. you know. Aww. Sad. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, you have... What the fuck is going on inside chat? Oh Don't worry things. about Lots it. Of things are happening. Don't worry We're having about fun. it. We're having fun. <laughs> We're dreaming of a uh, tub thumping. Don't worry. <laughs> I get back I down. But I get up again. I'm never gonna keep it up. <laughs> you have a Leonard. You have. None of these have last names, by the way. You have a Leonard, you have a... What the fuck did I think when writing this? I can't even speak this. <laughs> <laughs> Pro tip for anyone making random names. 
say them out loud. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could just call him Tim, Nim, Jim, Frim. <laughs> it's something pushy. It, it's pushed up. Yeah. I, I'm going to put the name inside set. I, I renamed this to Pushda. You're not even sure if this is a woman or a male. <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's it's a person. This this is probably someone from a region you have not been to. Oh. Um and the first name is Femil. T-H-E-M-I-L. Femil. Mm. Is there any gray or uh, grave names that are like barely eligible to read with the names? Um, not in the front, but it seems that a couple in the back are a lot older and the wooden boards have started to rot. Uh, you can make out like half a name. Hmm. Question, is there any uh, plants like uh, uh, wild flowers around? Um, this place, most of this place is just grass, but specifically on the graveyard itself, they planted one flower on every grave. No. I wonder if I have a spell, because I want to do something. There, there, there is some other plant life around, but mostly those are just bushes, not flowers. Ah, dang it. I don't have a spell to make flower grow bigger. <laughs> it would be plant hmm. growth, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so, but I, I didn't. Nah, I did not input. That is fair. But yeah, uh... I'm... Moss is gonna like just sit there to observe the all the graves, especially the ones with the with the ones that have the names very faded out. And after a moment, he's just gonna kind of silently uh, get up from the get up from sitting, and then he's gonna uh, walk away. He's gonna head to his tent. Oh yeah. Yeah. As you go to your tent, no one stops you. You can go sleep. Yeah, my boy's gonna go EP. EP. The blood moss is EP. It needs to do a big sleepy. Indeed. All right. Imagine Any... being EP couldn't be me. <laughs> pass the fuck out. No, pass out. <laughs> Right. Anything else anyone wants to do before we uh, go to morning time? Nope. Nope. Mm. Nope. Um, no. All right. Hey. Um, everyone on the party went to sleep. Maybe did did their midnight stuff and then went to sleep. And at some point, you will notice that uh, the sun is indeed starting to shine through your tent. These these little tents are made of leather that is not the highest quality. They don't block out the sun itself. Sun. Um, and if you guys immediately go outside you can notice that from the southeast there is what seems to be a rain cloud approaching Hell rain yeah. or storm we are not 100 percent sure Hell yeah. is there a body of water nearby by any chance um let me check my own fucking notes 
Uh, when you came here from what was essentially north, mm -hmm. you didn't notice any body of water, but if you try and search around or try and ask around, I can have you do something. Hmm. Talking to people. Gross. Mm. Um... <laughs> When 13 gets up, it's kind of like, she wakes up and she doesn't remember what happened until she gets a, a side of her armor and goes, oh, oh, right. Oh, shit. Like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. And I'm depressed again. Very cool. Um, <laughs> she's, she's going to get up and. She's gonna take. She's gonna still take her mask, but she's not gonna take her armor, and she's going to go look for a place to bathe. Um, as you try and walk around the camp, trying to find something like that, there doesn't seem to be anything. There is no like Shit. river or anything nearby. I'm just supposed to be stinky. Um, give me a nature check. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh god, okay. Nature. That is not my character sheet, that is somebody else's. Give me one second. <laughs> oh no, she has DM permissions! Ah! <laughs> I'm going to ruin everything! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking roll 20 just nailed me in the head with that sound. Okay. Uh, Oof. do 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 do. 13. In. Give me my shit. Nature. Where's nature? There's nature. Oh, yay. Zero modifier. Eleven. Eleven. Nice. Um, as you look around and you don't see anything that could be like water or anyone that has like a bathtub or anything, your, your gaze goes a little bit to the tree and you think, how the fuck is that alive? Yeah. Very much so. From the limited amount of knowledge I have of science. Water equals growth. Why why tree big? Yeah, why tree big? There should be water somewhere. Uh You know what? Fuck it. Let's go talk to that guy with a map. He's got a map. Maybe he knows where water is. Uh I'm gonna go I want to go into the tree. You wanna go into the tree? I wanna go All into right. the tree. I wanna go find his map. I wanna go see. When I can't read things, but I can read maps. When you do that, what does everyone else do? You know, probably be grumpy. Uh, no. <laughs> He's gonna be awoken by the morning light. Be be very grumpy about it, yes, but eventually get up and, and, and do his morning routine of fussing over his cane. And eventually going outside, probably. So you'd be waiting a little bit longer than the rest of your morning routine? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You would probably come out as 13 is currently approaching the tree then. Yeah. Alright. Mars and Shikari. Shikari's <clears throat> gonna be outside. <clears throat> Sorry. And try to get some information about yeah the circumstances you would ask um, villagers um where they found leads to undead or every where person you ask it gives you like a little bit of a description like oh we were recently like northeast there is uh, a couple more farms that we recently found. There's some more food there, but some of the inhabitants are now zombies or ghouls. Someone will tell you, oh, west, like three days, there is another small town. Um, you can find out that there. But every single person tops it off with the person that knows everything is Henry. He organizes everything here. Okay. Mm. 
Moss? Moss is, after a long night's sleep, Moss is going to get out of the tent and he is going to... Mm, I'm going to say he's going to go out or uh, go out to um, observe the area outside of the circle to just look how the how the environment is like. Um, as you exit the tent, not everyone that was in the camp is currently awake. Some of the people here seem to be long sleepers. Um, mm. but I'm guessing you want to like hear or see whatever is going on in the camp specifically. Uh, e yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's not that much commotion. There weren't that many people in the camp in the first place, but a lot of people are still asleep. You can hear Dwarven grumbling from over at the blacksmith's camp. He seems to be um, a very loud person. <laughs> <laughs> Small body, very deep voice for some fucking reason that you can hear throughout the entire camp, even if he's not yelling. Angie um, man. <laughs> Angie man. Ah, it's just a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a dwarf is long... like saying that's just a big cat that's gonna eat me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little guy that weighs about double your weight and muscle. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> oh boy. Um... <laughs> Not only that, yeah, yeah pe people are getting up. People are looking at south, southeast, and it's like, oh, well, we're not gonna go out today. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Um, and it seems today's gonna be a calm day. Hmm. Um, seeing the dwarf man yelling, uh, he must kind of uh, gonna avoid that general direction. <laughs> And then he's going to look around and um, he's going to try and see if there's any place that people are like uh, making or like giving food. Yes, I know I have scraps, but like I, I want to see if if there's any food to, to get. Uh, so you first go to the dwarf, check that area out. <laughs> Um, as you go towards the dwarf, uh, he's obviously at his blacksmith's tent. Um, the forge itself is currently not lit. And he oh. seems to be trying to get a fire going, but for some reason the air is already being a bit fucky and doesn't... like it. Oh. Something seems to be wet. Huh. And, and he, he is, while not yelling loudly, screaming in the air, he's very <laughs> much complaining about it out loud. Huh. Um, I would like Moss to use Produce Flame. Not gonna say anything to the dwarf, just, just throw fire at him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually not Anna. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Just like our stealing. <laughs> um, Moss is gonna actually just uh, kind of cautiously approach the dwarf and he's gonna say, Hey, uh, are you all right? The, the dwarf, like, he was seemingly head first in his forge trying to get stuff to work, pulls out his head, looks at you. The fuck does this look like? <laughs> uh, Moss just kind of like awkwardly like stand stands upright and he goes, um, it "Looks like you're kind of struggling there. <laughs> so, uh, what, what what is the problem?" Problem is apparently last night was a light shower of rain, and I didn't have enough fuel in the forge to just keep it going through it. Uh, uh, now my, and like he 
just puts his hand somewhere in the coal and you can't make out what metal it is. It is too much coverage just in coal. But he's pulling out something that seems like a long like a you're not sure if it's a long sword or just something of that size, prob it's not forged yet. Long like um, stick. Yeah, it's it's a metal stick at this point. This thing was supposed to heat up for the night. Now my coals are wet, not on fire, and there is already what seems to be a storm coming from the south. This was supposed to be done in the next couple of days, not... Mm, now I'm going to have to restart the entire thing. It's going to take me another two weeks. Moss kind of observes everything for a moment before he speaks up and he says, uh, I could give you some fire if it helps. Uh, he, he looks at you, he looks over at the clouds in the south. No, at this point it's been several hours and like he he get, gets rid of some of the coal on, on the metal. It seems to be oddly shiny. This is not steel. Ooh. Uh, but you can tell yeah, he, he gets rid of enough of it that it's somewhat bare and then just grabs it. This thing was supposed to be red hot today. This takes a fuck ton of time to heat up, but cools immediately. And with that storm coming, this forge is going to go out again. It took me already three days to get it to the temperature that it's supposed to while I was working on. Uh, he isn't even here right now. At that center that you saw last day, his armor was broken. Fucking got ripped up by... I don't even know what creatures that fucker fought. Never saw those kind of scratch marks. This is going to take a couple of days, and with that storm coming, that force is going to go out today a second time. If you have, even if I manage to. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to save what's dry and get it inside. Um, Moss is going to try and think for for a bit, and uh. He is gonna glance over up at the sky to see how long it, how how bad it's gonna storm. Um, do me. Will this be survival or perception? Perception to see, survival to know how long and how bad. So yeah, it would be survival. It's it's very obvious that there are storm clouds coming. So, Jesus Christ, you're rolling yeah. hot. What the fuck? Twenty-one. These guys are merciful. <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking Rick too. It, it's early in the morning, but it's still go. It's still going to take like an hour or two until the storm is here. But it's going to be raining the entire day and maybe even the start the next morning. Hmm. Like you can clearly see in quotation marks the sky is obviously filled with clouds there but you can very much tell there is a lot behind that seeing this moss is gonna is gonna kind of frown for a moment before he turns to the dwarf and he says well i i can still give you some fire so you can try and use it as much as you can for now. And the, the dwarf calms down a little bit. And he's he's still very pissed about the situation, but he's not pissed that you kind of calms himself. He doesn't want to yell at oh. you. But he's like, as much as I appreciate that. Right now, it's more about saving the dry coal and making sure that the grime gets out. As I said, this thing needs three days to properly heat up. And this forge would go out of that weather. It, it already got almost entirely cool 
just for one night of not being heated. So, it's going to take, what, at least until tonight? God, that storm is huge, what the fuck? I'm going to have to... What's the... Uh, fasten? Fasten is to make sure that things stay where they are? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going yes, to need to make sure that I fast, fasten yeah. down everything. Yeah. Uh, um, man, a proper forge down. Hmm? Get this man a proper forge with a, with a like, shelter and everything. Yeah, with, with proper shelter. This man is just working out in the open because the only actual shelter are the tents. Damn. Really? <laughs> there is no brick building. They need one of you, those you... guys from YouTube that just build a house from mud. <laughs> I, I, uh, his, his, his forge already seems to be like a, a very makeshift kind of thing. Scrimmage everywhere. Um, makeshift? <laughs> makeshift? Makeshift? No makeshift kind. everywhere? <laughs> oh. But like, uh, hmm. it, it has taken a while just to build the thing. Poor man. I have Earth Tremor, but I don't think I could use that to, like, build up the ground to, like, make a shelter. Yeah, you definitely that's can't more of an use attack. it to do that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's more of an attack. Earth Tremor is destroying things, not building them. And Entangle is just using vines to grab people, so I can't use that. God dang it! <laughs> oh, good. Oh. Hearing this, Moss is gonna just look over at the coal pieces and back at the sky, and he's gonna hesitate before he says, Well, would you like me to help gather up the good coal? You can see him contemplate for a second. Oh, well, you're gonna get your hands dirty, but... It's sure. fine. Uh, well, Ma Moss is gonna... Uh, he doesn't have his cape anymore. He gave it to 13. Uh, yeah, he, he He's gonna collect huh? the coal. Okay. Yeah, from last session, he he used the cape and like, like gave it to 13, like over her shoulders, I think. I don't think he took it back. It would just oh, be in your tent, bro. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, eh, either way, he, he <laughs> yeah. We're talking he about red coals. Getting that shit clean is gonna be a bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's still gonna collect the 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 good coal. Yeah, as as you notice, uh, there, there's already like a pile of very red coal to next to the forge and it is very clear that this thing would need to be dried out thoroughly probably throughout a couple of days to be usable for a forge but mm. especially deeper in the forge there seems to be still some good coal left occasionally you still come across a piece that's like soaked and you throw that to the side um, it takes you a little while, even with the dwarf settled, but by the time you're done, the storm would be quite a bit closer. Um, oh boy. Um, the dwarf would look up at this guy and be like, okay, that's enough. Everything that isn't out there by, uh, by now, uh, that's going to wash out with the storm anyway like there is a little bit of usually it's supposed to let air in instead of water out but eh, same shit different way yeah fair enough um like he brings in the basket in which you all the, the last basket in which all the coal was in and uh carries that into the tent like waves you in hey uh, he, he's gonna go in. Alright. Um, 
inside the tent. This this tent is a little bit bigger, seemingly, than what you slept in. Um, there's obviously the bed, but there's several baskets of coal. This seems to be enough for several days, maybe even an entire week of furnace work. Just stacked up in an entire corner, taking up the entire room of the tent. And there seem to also be a, a couple of open crates of pretty cheap gems, some metals. You see the metal rod from earlier. Um, oh. There's nothing like diamonds or any of that kind of sort, but it's it's enough to craft some magical or magically enchanted things. But they would be low enchantments, if that, and they would still take quite a while. Hmm. Uh, Moss kind of he he's gonna be looking around, kind of like intrigued a little. Um, the dwarf would be approaching a closed chest, not one of the open ones. Uh, rummages through that. You're drugged, aren't you? Uh, he, he, uh, Moss kind of like jumps a little, uh, startled by the regard before he goes, Oh, uh, uh yeah, yeah, I, I'm a druid. <laughs> and you, you can hear metal clanging, like, oh, kind of this. <laughs> and <laughs> pulls out from the bottom of the chest. Uh, oh, what the fuck was this thing called? Well, that's an interesting name. Uh, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> you pronounce it. How do you write that shit? <laughs> Hold up, I need to look back up with in in here -E it's it was a spell casting focus but i didn't write down the name oh no um yeah. ah it's a birch staff this thing <gasps> seems to be not a hundred percent like ornately perfect pristinely made but it has um, a small Jadis. Was Jadis? Was Jadis the cheap one? Was it? What's what's the green cheap gem? I forget. Jade. Uh, yeah. It, it, yeah. Right. Jadis was the fucking. Uh, yeah. A green jade. <laughs> Jadis was deep rock galactic. Well done, Yasha. You you totally didn't dive too deep into that game at some point in your life. Good job. Um, <laughs> to become no, the you didn't. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, cough, cough. <laughs> cough, cough. Uh, what were we doing again? Describing the staff. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, he will, like, hold that as one of the other groups I'm you see him look off in the distance, I'm not even sure I was alive at this point. Uh, gave me this to give out. He found something better at some point or something, I don't know. Uh, allows oh, you to, uh, what's it called? Uh, he called it. And he's like scratching his head a little bit. Forns? Something forns? Ha Hail of forns. Once oh. a day, apparently, or something like that. Uh, yeah, take it. Thank, thanks for the help. Oh, uh, it, it, it was no trouble. Um, thanks. And he's just gonna, like, very awkward, awkwardly accept stuff. And he, he, he's gonna, like, kind of, kind of give a poke at the, at the shiny gem. Um, specific action what was it held forms? <laughs> I'm have to. Oh wait, no, this was the second level. But 
<laughs> See, this is why we write shit down. Indeed. <laughs> no, this is why we fuck shit up. <laughs> hey, that's my job. <laughs> I'm um, gonna end it too. Trust me. One second. <laughs> God. Where was it? No, it was actually... F mm, no, it was second level. There we go. I'm gonna say, I did find it in second level. It was this third level. Did I give you a third level spell this early on? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I did not. Um... Brain fart, one second. <laughs> it was spike growth. That was <gasps> not Not thorns. That was where Hell my yeah, mind went. That's why I was growth. like, Hail of Thorns? No. Spike <laughs> growth. Spike growth Spikes, spell. not not forms. Yep. Yeah. Very good spell. Don't get spiky. <laughs> but other than that, it is a uh, out of character. This is a regular spell casting focus. So there's no like plus one to your spell save or spell attack or any of that. It just allows you to cast spike growth once per not long rest, once per dawn. Once it per dawn. Yes, it recharges at dawn. Three charges. Gonna take this note down, so my brain cell shall remember. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Uh, Ma Moss is gonna kind of like, <laughs> um, you know, from those uh, those army videos when they do the parade and like they spin the batons or the big uh pew pew guns. That's and, like, called color they guard. Do, like, Oh, okay, okay, yes, uh, they do that. He, he's... <laughs> I forgot the name, but um, yeah, uh, Moss is gonna kind of twirl around the, the staff for a second, kind of admire it, and uh, yeah, he he's gonna turn to the uh, dwarf and say, uh, "Thanks like, again. I I really appreciate this." Oh, thank you. And I got everything in that was actually good of the cold. Thanks to you. It doesn't take long until it rains now. Uh he Moss is gonna kinda give like a like a like a grin and he's gonna say, Yeah, well um I uh, I hope you uh stay safe from the big old storm and yeah, if you need anything let me know. And he's gonna turn to leave. Okay. I'm guessing. Yeah. Do you go towards the tree? He, yeah, he's gonna go towards the tree. All right. Um, you arrive a bit later than everyone else. I'll tell you when exactly you do. But yeah. everyone else roughly arrives at the tree at the same time. Wait, what? You don't see moss. It, everyone that does their daily stuff arrives roughly at the entrance of the tree. You all wanted to go to Henry's. I did that, like, super early in the morning, though. Like, that was... Yes. Moss took quite a while. They will arrive later, I will say, <laughs> when. Um, okay. But every... Sorry, my brain is not handling time well right now. <laughs> All I'm good. Not... <laughs> I, I did the one thing that was outside first. Okay. Um. Yeah, Moss isn't there, Alexander isn't there, but... 13 goes in. I think Memphis and Shikari might meet each other outside just before they go in. So 13 goes into Henry's office first. Don't tell me Unless he's already there. Want to wake he totally doesn't sleep in his office. Okay, thank God. He does. Fuck! That <laughs> <laughs> I man doesn't have a tent. Damn, alright. Well, do you go in? Do you just walk in without knocking? Oh God, no, you... no. She's gonna knock. She's respectful, and she'll knock three times. Just uh, as you knock, you can. It almost sounds like someone falling out of bed. <laughs> like I, what? Oh, oh fuck! 
It's morning already, isn't it? Yeah, come in. Thirteen will enter the office. Uh, close the door behind her. I'm just curious if there's a water source nearby. Um, you see Henry. He seems to be sitting very low behind the desk of his office. Um, like, stand up, seems to push something into the wall, pull out the chair. Uh, water source, water. Uh, oh, right. Um, hmm. Miranda downstairs has. Mm. Hold up. Miranda. Yeah, she has an under, underground, underground river. What are they called? Underground something. Uh, she built the tree on, on top of cave system, something, something, something. Yeah, yeah. Mm. If anyone has water, she does. Okay. Uh, then I guess I'm going to see her. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, 13 no. will turn to leave. He does not stop you. Good, she's out. He is, Bye. He's currently waking the fuck up like, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm outie. Peace. Drank too much last night. That wine was also very good. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that doesn't drink around here? Not me too. Uh, to be fair, she doesn't drink because she's never had it, not because she doesn't drink. <laughs> get that bitch drunk. <laughs> yeah, that bitch drunk, get that bitch drunk. Eventually, yes. <laughs> so, so deep. Um, I mean, she, she Memphis is probably like at the base of the tree when she gets out. Um, Miranda is downstairs in the tree. Yeah, I'm headed downstairs. Oh. Yeah, she's headed mind. downstairs. The two of you might see her go downstairs as you are approaching the tree. But if you guys want to talk to Henry first, you can do that, but I do 13 fully. Go, 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 13, yes. Uh, you said something, Shikari? Oh, no. So, uh, good to go. Good to go. All right. Um, you go downstairs to Miranda. Miranda seems to already be up and bright and hell yeah, morning person. Let's she, go. She's she's old and like moving slowly, but she doesn't seem to be tired. Like she's just old, and she will greet you with a smile and say, "Ah, oh, you're up early." I'm up at the same time I always am. That helps, I get. I suppose. What can I do for you? Um, Henry told me you had access to a uh, water Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'm guessing you need a refill. And she will, like, wave a little bit and already turn around. Um, actually, I'm looking for somewhere to wash off so I don't drive the whole camp insane. Fair enough. It would be the same stream, just I'd ask to do it a little bit downstream then. Of course. And uh, she will walk around the altar. Um, do you still have the image? Yeah, you have the image open. Um, it's very similar to that. She's just going around to the right and behind the big roots in the middle. And she seems to be going downstairs. Thirteen takes a couple seconds to look around the altar, like, holy shit, this is impressive. Uh, then she'll kind of start to follow her, but it's slowly as she's, like, looking around the side of the altar, like, hmm, that's, that's fucking cool. And she finally will turn and continue to follow her. Yeah. It's... Oh, right, you weren't even actually downstairs last session. Fuck. Nope. I have nope. no idea what this place is, so she's just like, oh, yeah, that, that's cool. Yeah. It's, it seems to be almost, it's not a full, like, gigantic cathedral, but it seems to be very small. 
cathedral-esque with an altar in the middle. Yeah, it's like some of those tiny-ass churches on the side of the road in Germany. Yeah, just uh, the walls and the pillar in the middle is completely made out of roots from the tree. Nice. The, the ground is dirt and stone, a little bit more stone than, like on the bottom floor especially, and a bit more dirt-ish, dirt root-ish uh, as the stairs, but yeah. Nice. I'll try not to trip. Mm, that's safe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a decently made ground. You're not tripping over roots unless you try and like explore the walls specifically. <laughs> just, <laughs> just people come downstairs, they look up, and there's just 13 on the wall going... <laughs> <laughs> the dragon had to get there somewhere. Hisses violently at you. <laughs> God damn it, somebody get the paladin down from the fucking walls again. Stop praying for a paladin. She's grown <laughs> too powerful. <laughs> right. Yeah, she'll follow Miranda down into the water yes. area. Please don't drown me. <laughs> As you go around, you're not wearing armor, right? No. You said that. Yeah, just, yeah. just the undershirt and like the pants. Undershirt pants. You said something about the mask? Yeah, she's wearing the mask. Even though she's it's cracked. The mask. It is cracked, yes. The crack is indeed black. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as, as you go around like the center pillar, there's obviously a staircase that leads a little bit further down as it almost turns into a wet cave. Um, Miranda's a couple <laughs> steps ahead of you. That was my nickname but... in college. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Keep going, I'm sorry. Uh, mm, I'm sorry. Miranda is, is, is a couple steps ahead of you, but she's obviously a whole lot slower than you are, so by the time that you reach the bottom stairs, you're roughly at the same place. Uh, like, you're just like one or two steps behind her at that point, because she is taking up the stairs. Um, but... At that point, the cave is indeed very wet. There's still roots, like, growing through the walls itself, but they're no longer making the walls. Hmm. Um, Miranda will just say, just this way, dear. And she will take another look at you. So you're the one that uh, cast whatever that was yesterday. Looking at your mask specifically. She looks at her for a second and then just breaks eye contact and looks away, very ashamed. It's all good. We all have been through things. Take your time. I do not mean to pry. And after not that much walking, um, the tunnel seems to open up to what is essentially an underground stream. Like, nice. it's it's not a fully circular cavern below that just goes through, but there seems to be enough of an area where you could realistically have a bunch of people, like, sit, and then a water stream where you can both take out water as well as you see some roots dip into the water or right around it. Obviously being the things that are drinking for the tree. Nice. And she will point specifically to like the downstream section. There are some words. There are some roots that you can hold on to to make sure that you are safe. Mm. Please do not slip. And I have to say this. Don't pee into it. Didn't plan on it, but a uh, little disturbed that you have to tell that to people. Halflings are weird creatures. For a moment she kind of stops and then she just like... Yeah... <laughs> I'm guessing you do not wish your face to be seen. 
She kind of stops for a second and just... Not... I, I guess I'm just used to wearing it, that's all. I don't have a problem with my face. Oh, that... I did not mean to imply that. It's just... Oh, there are a couple of things about you and your group I would like to talk about. But if you rather wish to clean yourself in private, I could understand. I think having a important conversation would probably be better when I'm not naked. <laughs> I have seen the wildest things in the years I've been here, but I will be waiting upstairs. And with that, she will turn back around and go back to the cathedral. <laughs> I'm getting naked underneath the church. Let's go. <laughs> underneath a, ch a church made out of a tree. But yeah, it's it's very much an underwater stream. It's mostly just rock and uh, motherfucker rock and roots um but if you try and like climb up the walls it would be a bit more dirt uh the water itself seems to be very clear as it does indeed coming through um a lot of minerals probably um this would also be perfectly drinkable water if you wish to do so oof hard water and it's gonna be seems... hell on her hair <laughs> And it seems that both in both directions of the stream, like this place is a bit more of a cavern, but it seems to just disappear into a crack in the rock that you probably do not wish to ever go into. You underestimate my power dives into it. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> you get stuck. Sad. Uh, yeah, she's Help going step, to. Bro, I'm stuck. Help I'm step, bro, I'm stuck. She is going to uh, go ahead and disrobe, and then the last thing that she'll take off will be her mask. And she will uh, hold on to one of the roots. I'm going to make that very clear. She'll, like, slip her arm around it and then uh, get into the water. Please tell me I don't slip away and die. No, especially with having the support of, of the root, you, you don't slip. You're not in any trouble. The water isn't that deep. It, it seems to be a kind of fast, but again, the the end of this water stream is just, it gets narrower and narrower, and mm. you are holding on to a root as well. Like, you can't even sit on the side partially if you wish to clean your feet properly. I mean, I probably do. Feet be stanky. Um... But on that, yeah, you clean yourself. Hell yeah. I'm gonna ask that you don't describe in detail every single portion of your body that you clean what do you mean on YouTube. What you don't want a detailed description of my armpits? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, by that time, I do upstairs group. Yep. So, Memphis and Shikani, you wanted to go to Henry's place. Yes. Indeed. Uh, Memphis will just have his uh, bag of books and inks and stuff, and will will eagerly step up the stairs, because information, maps, books, what scrolls. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Shikari moves behind and be like, "Hey, Memphis. Morning to you." He will look over his shoulder and wave quietly. And um, just... So you're also here for um, more information, I'm guessing? Yes, I am. I tried well, then... to talk to some people outside, but they all told me that Henry has the most information and that he plans everything and coordinates everything. So I thought it would be the best to talk to him directly. Yeah, he's. If he organizes everything, that's that's probably. 
the first thing, uh, the, the first stepping stone. You guys approach again the door of the office. It is currently closed, but it is not locked. Uh, Memphis will knock twice. It's big. <laughs> Everyone has their own knocking pattern. Oh god damn, yes. now I need to remind, remember myself. Um, knock, 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 Penny. Knock, 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 Penny. Knock, 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 Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike with 13 earlier, um, the answer you had is a bit more awake. Um, yes, yes, come in. Um, yeah, he will open the door. And leave it open for Shikari, because, yeah. <laughs> we Shikari's going to just... follow and close the door behind him. <laughs> yeah. Then, before, um... before he looks, if, if there's anybody who wants to go inside and not slam the door in the fa in their faces. There's currently nobody behind you. And I close the door. Um, Henry will look at you. Ah, the new guys. What can I do? Uh, brain fart. What can I do for you? Um, well, first of all, I uh, would ask if I can this. So, that's <laughs> math. Uh, sure. Um. And he currently has the map. Actually, no, he would keep it rolled out. Like, you he, he spoke to him late in the evening. He, the map is still on the table, uh, same place that it was last night. It is. It seems to be, like, pinned down with a book on each side. Um, uh, what do you want to know? What kind of books are they? <laughs> you look on them, and it... it <laughs> Both of them have like a title of how to grow. One is how to grow potatoes, and the other is how to grow berries. Damn. Deep. Keep trying. Uh, but yeah, Memphis will. He just... uses them as paperweights. <laughs> 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 Maybe he's through with these books. I sure hope so. But yeah, he, he will. He will sort of make himself somewhat comfortable. Not really. He will be there and copy the map down very eagerly and maybe ask questions about, like, what does that symbol mean? Ah, uh, uh, and I think I described it last time a little bit with the line and all the symbols on it. Um, you have, like, what seems to be a small little they, almost a stick figure drawing of a, of a tree that's for the camp mm -hmm. with campus you can tell that quite easily from the other map you had previously and there is a bunch of X's very close around a couple circles a little bit further and especially towards the west there are some just straight lines across like places yeah. and he just says, uh, everything that's marked with an X has already been looked through at least three times at this point. Probably very empty. Um, the circles are all uh, not safe to loot, but uh, as safe as it gets. They should, there just should still be stuff in there, or at the very least, uh, it hasn't been looted yet. Some places we do find are just empty from the start, unfortunately. Uh, and but these, and he points to a couple of the ones which is a single line for, uh, don't go there at all. Is it because of the um, infestation? Or... Yeah, there, there is either a high amount of undead creatures uh, or some nasty ones, especially like these ones. And he points to the ones uh, further west. Mm. Um, some of the biggest ones they've seen are here. There. That sounds like just like what I wanna fight. He looks at you, 
Eyeball, eyebrows raised. <laughs> I'm a freaking maniac, okay? <laughs> we might not want to go there just yet, Shikari. Uh, yeah. Fine. But at some point... <laughs> Perhaps, yes. Perhaps. Uh, so you're one of the motivated groups. Alright. I just have things to do, and they include annihilating undeads. So you're one of the very motivated groups. All right. Yeah, sadly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why sadly? <laughs> Memphis will just give him a flat look like, seriously? You're asking me why? <laughs> well... <laughs> All right. I was gonna say this yesterday with the paladin, but then stuff happened. Um, how do I say this? The ones that are trying to solve this usually don't make it for long. That's the first thing. Have they found the first anything out? Um. Well, apart from obviously where's food and all that stuff, and like he pulls out, um, draw horn, a draw, so platter, a draw. Yeah, he pulls out a drawer and uh, like pulls out a book. Um, it's more ledger than anything else, and like he opens it. Uh, the undead seem to not. Die after fellow wound on that seem to. The fur obviously the further west you go, the more dangerous there are. We have a not necessarily accurate list of what you'll find where. You'll have a lot of skeletons and stuff near the mountain range. Where we are, it's mostly zombies and ghouls. Um, further west, you have some, some of them can even do, use magic. Um, how is this possible? I'm not a hundred percent sure myself. It, it seems to mostly be necromancy, but. Oh, okay. Then, then it's fine. Yeah. I there are undeads, but I never heard of this, an undead like casting fireball or something. That's why I. Uh... I wouldn't say that it's impossible. We've heard some very weird capabilities from these, especially from the ones that are not physical. There. Wait, what? <laughs> so, spirits? <sighs> Miranda knows a bit about this, but there were some other areas as well where especially nature spirits got corrupted. Whoa. They usually turn into, I think they call it a shade. Think One of the groups found what almost seemed to be a woman in a wedding gown, but her screams would incapacitate people. Banshee? Oh, banshee. Yes. Yes! The banshee. fucking Banshee! Let's go! <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. No. I can possess people. How is this gonna be fun? Oh, it's gonna be fun! <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> no! <laughs> my inner Irish ancestors are telling me to run, but my inner German are telling me to fight! <clears throat> yes! <laughs> <laughs> you can't punch them! <laughs> no, but you can do some radiant damage. True. Yep. If you have magical weaponry, you can indeed hit them. And some monks can also hit ghosts. Yes, I monks can and they just punch ghosts because they're... I need special weapons. 
Yes. Dragon, you would you have? <laughs> don't you have a silver ingot from your monster hunter background? Uh, can you ask questions I can answer directly? I have a monster hunter kit, yes, but I don't know what's in it. <laughs> Hold up, I can I can quickly check that. Uh, um... I do that myself. No worries. If I find things. Must sound to pack, not kit. Yeah. Uh, chest, crowbar, hammer, free one stakes, so listen, flask of holy water. Mm -hmm. Flask of oil in the box. Ah, no, you don't have silver or stuff, but you have a flask of holy water that you can use to throw it undead. Yeah, but do I hit a banshee with it? I mean, yep. um, it still is physics. It's, an, it's an undead. Holy water works against any and all undead. Okay. That is magical water. Imbued with radiance. Um, and Granted, I can make you do but, a religion check to see if you know that. <laughs> but it still just only is one thing I can do, so I still need special weapons. Yeah, you still, <laughs> you probably still want special weaponry against that. Yep. Um, but he'll, he'll continue. There, there is uh, a bunch of things. Jesus fucking Christ, Kitty. <laughs> oh, God. Angel this. Angel what the heck? I just look inside chat, yeah. and Kitty just writes, Holy water equals angel piss? Question mark. Angel like, piss. Oh, angel is... piss. <laughs> no, it's not. She learns oh, it's not for fuck. me. <laughs> uh, pain. Anyway, Henry goes on. Just goes, <laughs> yeah, there's probably a whole bunch of more stuff. As a general concept. If it was strong in life, it's strong in undeath, and the further west you go, the more they get empowered. Are there undead vampires? I mean, from what I, I know, mean, all vampires are undead. Corrupted. Corrupted by the curse. Vampires. There better not be. Oh, so you don't know. Lovely. Mm -hmm. We we haven't encountered anything, and he sh shows back to the line map anything beyond this line. The, we haven't found them, and I pray to whatever god can hear us here. Please, no. You just hear thunder crackle, and a voice comes out of the clouds. <laughs> Get fucked, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Religion check. <laughs> Religion check. See if you understand God's mockery. <laughs> <laughs> you need a natural 20, though. <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah. Um, Alright, there, there better not be God, please, no. I haven't found any yet. So, in which direction should we move first, then? Uh, it, it sounds like go everywhere. Yes. <laughs> in essence, that's what we've been doing, but uh, the more recent things... Uh, Jessica said something yesterday about a church of Lorifar that was hidden somewhere. Uh, she's just to tell me where exactly that is. That might be um, interesting for Alexander. If he, he sobers up. <laughs> you guys don't know if up. he's drunk right now. You just haven't seen him yet. Fair no one point. wanted to pick on him. <laughs> True. Uh, he was that. Time for me to one? see his lowest Claring? point. Paladin? What? What was he? He's a cleric. Monk. Cleric monk. Cleric monk. 
I'm asking in character as Henry. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Sorry. My, <laughs> my brain was... What? Monk? Cleric? Yes. Oh. Something? Both. <laughs> he punches stuff. He punches stuff. Monk. He's probably. very strong. Yeah. To say the least. I mean, if, if he's from a church of Lorifar, the sun god guides his blows, and the sun god does not like on death. Mm -hmm. Who does? <laughs> None of the gods, but no one hates it as much as he does. Oh, okay. We probably need to go to Jessica uh, to. Find there are a things. few more things you can explore. Uh, Miranda said something about checking in on someone in the woods to the east. Uh, something about the nature spirit there not having been corrupted yet. Hopefully, last time she checked at least, or someone checked for her, rather. Um, we have as much as I said, the Ganser so hold is, is empty. Maybe... Can communicate. You can ask her. Um, there's still, of course, always the Ganser Hold. As much as I say, there shouldn't be anything valuable in it. Every, almost everyone went there at some point. There's still some weaponry left, and it's a fucking hold of a vampire's family. They were huge. I'm sure we there were so many there. hidden passageways we found that would not be surprised if there are more out of all the seats of the vampire vampiric families that we know they <laughs> most of the undead have been killed there by now <laughs> that's good might be like a practice run for us Maybe one of the simpler things, yeah. Other than that, I was... I think some of the groups found, and it's like... Uh, but why is it... The... Northwest, there was a new place for food. It's here. We need the food to found. survive, so that might be a good way to kick it off, to secure supplies. Yeah, we, we have a bit in store, but it's always good to keep more. Um, if it's fresh. He will look at you and just say, uh, hmm. good, good thing if... you mentioned that. Nothing rots outside. It, we, we, uh, it seems what's responsible for things to rot died alongside the curse of undeath arriving. We're not 100% sure how it works, but... Shikari, Shikari looks will, visibly confused. Most of the food you will find... There is dirt in it, probably, for sure. Uh, usually the sack... Like, if, if you find a sack of wheat on the floor, it will probably be partially disintegrated and the wheat itself will be on the floor. You might have to clean it off, but it it's still wheat. It didn't become dirt, as it should have. So that there is... Mm, plenty of supplies out there. It's more of getting it back here making sure it's purified and then you can just use status rations i oh probably should have said that yesterday um don't give people just your rations that's kind of how most of the people here trade oh so rations are currency yeah kind of especially decent rations like the ones the vampires would have given you um, so, does gold mean anything, or is it just the material? Uh, gold is mostly just the material. Uh, the dwarf can make use of it in some weaponry, but other than that, uh, not so much. We don't have other people to trade with, and 
it honestly doesn't do much for us. If we find, like, a treasury, it's usually better to bring, you know, the valuable or usable things, like uh, certain gems or spells or yeah. even just food back instead of a chest full of gold. Yeah. I can see that. Um, he will look at Shikari and, and just sort of take a breath, pausing on a line on be like, do you have more questions? Because I have a few and I don't be interrupting you. I... No, I think I'm finished for now. And he will look back at Henry. And just go. All right, I have, uh, I think, four questions, maybe more, if there are some uh, un unexplained things in your explanations. But first of all, who who is Jessica? What the fuck is her deal? Oh, Jessica. Uh. It's... She's been here before I've been here. I don't think she was in the same group that Miranda was in, but they seem to know each other longer than I do. But... <sighs> I'm not even sure why she came here. She and seems to enjoy not having a government above her head. And she likes to rub that into my face. I... <laughs> she's not hostile, don't get me wrong. She's not an enemy in any way, shape or form. But she is our most capable, I'm not going to say member, because that would piss her off if she is behind the door. And you can see him like tilt his head, look a little bit, if there comes a response or not. Can we do she... a perception check? Yes, please. <laughs> do me a perception check. Sure. Oh, yeah. You know, I just thought about it. That bitch better not be spying on me while I'm taking a bath. <laughs> I don't even can see what the fuck this was. Uh, I think it was a three, so no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a no. 17. Um, yeah. You can hear regular stuff from outside the tree, but you, you don't notice any person. Okay. Jessica is not not present right now. <laughs> Good. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. <laughs> Beep. Uh, um, so an anarchist who uh, seems to thrive in the that is yeah. wonderful. She thrives in the chaos. That no, I had it on the nail. Uh, She, she is the best example of if you survive long enough in this mess, you become strong. You become good at what you do. And she really is good at what she does. Good at if she shit. wanted to. <laughs> if she wanted to, she could probably be a Huge ally in trying to find out what actually happened here, but he is more interested in good food and you seem like look to the side and you good notice food and the wine fucking... bottle on 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 the floor. Um, maybe. <laughs> good food and good wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we better have Good live, good food and good wine. If we want to get on her good side, <laughs> or if she want, if we want her help, yeah, if that's yeah. even necessary. Uh, she doesn't help that much, but uh, if you can trade with her, I'm guessing she would. 
She probably so has some of the best equipment in here. She just keeps it for herself. Is she going to rip us off if we try something, or...? Uh, most people just don't mind her, but especially a few times that she's dealt with our blacksmith here, like made him, gave him stuff to do. He's paid him fairly. Oh, okay. So. Thanks for the information. She... Hmm. She's a trickster, but she's not evil. She's just chaotic. Yeah. Um, chaotic, well, chaos can be uh, quite the wrench in some plans. <laughs> if uh, applied at the wrong times. Yeah. We saw that yesterday. How is she doing, by the way? I think she's doing uh, fine, I hope. <laughs> as fine as you can in that situation. Cut to the bathroom, yeah. but it's just like random singing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like the, it's like those scenes in movies where guys are in the shower, like, sobbing and, like, chugging wine. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's fine, right? Yeah. Uh, you said you had more questions? Uh, yes. Do you have uh, a sort of do you have a list of people that came here? Uh, you can see him like breathing a bit deeper, scratch his nose. Uh, turns around, looks a little bit, uh, grabs a stack, like an actual stack of papers. Um, I try to keep as good a list as I can. You just Want to know who's currently here or who was here? I. And he will hesitate and look down a bit and do the closest thing he does to fiddling since he's, he, he is a very self man, but Jesus fucking Christ, emotions. Um, <laughs> and his, his feather also stops, or the quill stops. I'm just wondering if a uh, Leona Bardot uh, might have come through here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think she was a uh, human. He doesn't Somewhere ring an immediate bell. And he will, like, take the first paper. Mm -hmm. You see a couple of names like scratched through. There's a bunch of names on this list. Uh, at the very top is Henry and Miranda. Mm. Right below that is Jessica. And then just a lot of other names. Some of them are scratched through, some are not. Uh, at least not recently. Puts that to the side, takes the next paper. A whole lot more names are scratched through. Um, again, starts though. Henry, Miranda, Jessica, and a couple other names that were also on the elder paper. Now, uh, uh, hold up. What did you say her last name was? Bardo. Bardo, Bardo. Uh, uh, Bardot, if you, you pronounce the. Uh, no, 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 no. Like, he, he takes off a couple papers. <laughs> I'm like, uh. Hmm. Turns it around. When was this? Oh, this was several years ago. Yeah, her name is here. Well, was here. She didn't come back. Uh, I did not write down where she went, though. Do you know where she went? No, wait, she just said you did. Um, Fuck. I'd have to check 
And like you, you see him like again look over at another stack, what seems to almost be a stack of ledgers of where everyone went and when, essentially. Mm -hmm. And this is several years of that. Essentially several years of mission debriefings, if you want to call it that. I mean, if you have time, I would very much appreciate um, knowing where she went. Um, he will look at you for a second, like, what emotions you convey in that statement. Very much. He is... Oh, God. He's scared. But also, sort of like, he, he... He's been thrown into this new life. And there is a possibility of essentially his mother his his what his adoptive season. mother yes his adoptive mother still being somewhere <laughs> so hopeful scared um and emotionally confused <laughs> all right um henry just says she meant something to you didn't she Becoming defenses of, of them, then, then the defense of Emilia. He'll like, what if she did? None of my business what exactly it was. But <sighs> I can't see if I can find the time. I, this is from three years ago. That's her last must mention of her name and like you see him again put down the paper take the next paper from the stack she was on a list for a couple of these i think well, she was here for a little while or well we didn't see her again yeah i have her at least three lists so she was here for at least two and a half years and yes this man does the same list over and over again just getting rid of the people that are <laughs> I'm not there anymore. Um, oh, no, I'll say, I, I can look if I can find her mentions and. Would you like help did. finding a better way to write that down, or are you just good with your current um, uh, way of um, doing things? And he looks at the papers. I have a good system for most of it, but the names itself is difficult. Now, for example, my goodness, this these are I said but, uh, the ones that motivate the most are the ones that go over to the earliest. They are not the ones that make it for long. She carries an uh will shiver a little bit. <clears throat> I should probably write down an actual full ledger of who came when and who stopped coming when. I mean, I it's just this. basically a miracle that you've got this already. Uh, I have it since I am here. Well, since... And you see him stop for a second. Since I have this, and he like points down, pulls the chair a little bit, sits down, and like quote unquote shows his leg. It's not his leg. He has a peg leg. Oh! <laughs> He's been mostly moving around on his actual leg right now, and it's hidden very well behind the table. I could cool. no longer leave the camp, at least. So I made it my my job to keep track of things. And do you not have someone who can do a better job of uh, getting you a prosthetic? Or is that just... <sighs> 
To what end? Mm. I mean, I can't imagine that being comfortable. <laughs> it's not, but it it does its job. And humor prosthetic, I don't think I'd be of use out there. So, I'd rather have them spend their time doing something useful than help a man like me be a bit more comfortable. Which I mostly is in this office anyway. I don't go out that much anymore. Okay. Like, the leg is already put back down. Like, again. Okay. Uh, Stands back up. One more question, I think. Um, I mean, you you do have a ledger of the people currently here, so. I didn't. And like he, he puts back some of the papers onto the stack. It's like uh, the, the current one is, is this one. Oh, I still have to put you guys in. Ah, uh, probably best if I have a group here. Get all of your names. Write them down. I could help you with that, yeah. Um, but do, do you know of any, um... And he will lower his voice and be sort of like slightly conspiratorial. Like, any shifter? Shifters? I... Yeah, the ones that look very much human, but then they can shift into bestial forms. I, I have a couple of droids, but don't think we've had any shifters, at least none that told me. I mean, yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, just f forget I said that. And he he, he'll be a bit that. confused, but he will not press the matter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that is, um, probably all the questions, although, I mean, is, can the books in your office, while in your, um, observation be considered uh, something like a library? Um, he, he'll look around for just a second, I mean, I got... Apart from the ones that I, stuff that I wrote down, because it, it's about this place itself, um, there are some books that I didn't make that people brought from their uh, the excursions. Most of them are not that useful. It like points to the book on this right that's on the table. He uses the paper right, like, oh, how to grow berries. I mean, uh, if you can find intact bury seeds and figure out a way how to breathe life back into them, I'm sure you can make use, but if you're talking of finding the source of the undead, or a way to fight them, I uh... Mean, something about souls would also be quite interesting at the moment, but um, I probably not in the uh, usual libraries. Uh, I have some some interviews of sentient animals. If you wouldn't mind me uh, taking a peek at that for a bit. Uh, sure, and he'll, he'll pull out a book. <laughs> um, I get like, a book. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, they were somewhat weird to me, but sure. Oh, thanks. Um, that, I don't know. Some of the common legends about some of the gods, but I'm sure you've heard the lot of those as a child. Uh... Have I? Hmm? Have I? <laughs> you have definitely been told about the gods and some of their exploits and what they stand for, but yeah. you don't know if you know the exact things that are in those books. I'm saying that much. I might take a look at that later, 
at, at a later point, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. I have some of the other stuff, like crafting some things, but that usually uh, the door of comes and grabs some of them, so I'm not even sure if we have everything of those in here right now. Do you have a book about crafting magical items? Uh, some. What What are you looking for? A, um, Stone of Sending, perhaps? Stone Just... of Sending, Stone of Sending. And you seem no. like go go across a couple of items, uh, not a couple of a couple of books, and you see something like ah, magical refining of steel, uh, how to make basic spell casting, make basic spell casting folky, how to enchant a fork for better taste. Um, it's very good. You can give that to anyone that uh, eats at your place and they'll like it for some goddamn reason. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, oh, no, no, no. That's the divination. And it doesn't fall for that. Uh, and it, he pulls out something that seems to be like a description of spells. It's not a full wizard spell book, more of a this is a collection of all the spells I have come across in my life. Um, oh. Yes. Maybe, I'm not sure. It's like, it goes through a couple of these. And this seems to be a record of. Oh, one second. Spells. Of varying classes up to third level and how their limitations work. So some of these spells have like several pages of ah yes. If like the tech magic has like a full five page like a full five pages, two of those pages just what kind of material at what thickness blocks that spell? What the fuck? Oh can I have that? <laughs> He's not gonna say that, but... There, there are plenty of spells that are not in here, especially uh, some of the more obscure spells, but... Yeah, that's in there. Yeah. If Memphis can see, like, what's going on in that book, um, he will immediately perk up, and, like, both hands on the table. I would give half of my rations for that book. <laughs> <laughs> You're a researcher, aren't you? Uh, archaeologist. Ah, it's the same yeah. thing. Ah, uh, you can keep your rations for that. There's... Mm, I'm going to ask to not take this out of camp. I can do that, yeah. I'll um, uh, give it back to you when we leave. All right. Sounds good to me. Um, that was your last question you said? Uh, I, yeah. yeah. May I suggest a piss I, break? Exactly, I was going to yes. say. Then we we're going to take a <laughs> take quick a piss break. Take a fat piss. We will be right back. Wah! Wah!
are indeed back. I'm just handing it directly over to Yasha because I got hot chocolate to drink. Peace. Oh, hot <gasps> Shocky and she don't share. <laughs> I mean, come here and you can have some. Dare. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, hey, anyway, yeah, session is over. I'm now driving to uh, Brian's place to bring hot chocolate. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Take me up on the Angels, way, if you do not stop giving me the 2.5 seconds to turn the damn music down, I swear to God, I'm coming up there and I'm shoving this <laughs> mug up your ass. <laughs> you will cope, my son. Uh, Go on. Oof. The group having all done their morning routine in some shape or form, and everyone knowing that Henry is uh, the place to go for instructions, I would like to know, is there anything you guys want to do before then? Because otherwise I would just pull you all into Henry's office. I would like to uh, get out of the bath and put clothes on before you do that. Thanks. <laughs> that you can very much do. That I'm going Thanks. to say you did that. You're not going to run around the camp naked. This is indeed a family, fa family friendly stream. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely is not. Uh, but yeah, she'll <laughs> put her clothes back on and she will return to Henry's office as she is running a kind of shitty brush through her hair to try and get maths out. Miranda will make a little look and say, "You look good." And it's not looks I'm worried about. Handlings. But thank you. She already goes back to uh, doing some stuff with the roots. Enjoy the occasional rooting, magical uh, I'm sparks. I'm gonna go get fucked. Bye. Peace Bye. out. <laughs> I'm gonna peace out to the <laughs> office. <laughs> uh, Memphis and Shikaria are already in it. Moss, you're were at uh, the black did they ever say his name did I, ever... mm -mm. I didn't even write down his name no i oh. don't believe so uh he only mentioned the name of who had the stuff but uh after leaving moss is gonna quickly clean up his hands from all the um the whole stuff that yeah, that the crime and dirt yeah he he gonna clean himself up and then he's gonna follow into the little tree meeting <laughs> <laughs> um 13 you arrive a little bit earlier than Moss does but as you are approaching the door you can you can already hear footsteps from downstairs coming as Moss is indeed approaching and you can hear voices inside that seem familiar uh, then I will uh, knock three times on the door. Uh, everything inside, so Memphis, Shikani, and Henry do indeed hear you. I was like, hmm, a lot of traffic this morning. Come in. And uh, she will enter and then look at everyone else and be like, oh. Morning. Morning. <clears throat> Morning. Seems like we're getting the whole group. Morning. I think I heard someone else coming up, so it won't be just me. And uh, 13 will at that point step away from the door, but like keep like a hand. You know how some people hold doors? Or, they like step aside, but they keep a hand on it. They like keep it open. Yeah. That's what she's going to do. And uh, up comes the mass. Doors open. You see several people inside that you know, and you see Henry. Moss is going to walk up and enter, and seeing everyone, he goes, oh, well, everyone's early. And he is going to walk inside, kind of give like a curt nod to 13 as a sign of thank you for opening the door. And yeah, he's he's going to walk in. Are we early, or are you just a late riser? <laughs> he, he, he pauses and just gives like a little shrug and says, Mostly both. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, it's still too early for my liking, but the sun is up, so I guess we all be up 
except for Alexander. Did did you guys see him? I didn't see him. But I've also been underground for about I an hour, so didn't check on him. I don't even know where he slept. That might be a problem. Oh, I'll, I'll go looking for him in a bit. <clears throat> Would not be good if he got lost, yeah. Exactly. He is a big, strong dude. I think he will be fine. I think he's grieving, and grief often makes people stupid. Yeah, probably. We should mm. talk to him. <laughs> uh, it's not should... too long ago. But we're here now, so let's just uh, get this whole part out of the way. What are we doing? Um, We've already been told three places that we could potentially go to. Uh, and those places are... <laughs> oh, the uh, northeast, the west, there in the west there's a small town. We could go to Ganserholt, or we could check the east for uh, where a spirit isn't corrupted yet. You well, said Ganserhold was full of undead, right? And was raided. Uh, it's not full of undead. There's still probably some around the place. It's out of all the cities, the one where the least are. Oh. But it's mostly been empty. But every now and again, a group that goes there finds another secret passageway that was protected by some illusion magic. We might still find some, especially, and he'll look at 13, with our knowledge. 13 kind of shrugs. Yeah. You guys have to deal with the vampires before this. Actually, yes. 13 just tenses. <laughs> okay, you don't need to answer it. Personal life before you come here doesn't matter, as long as you don't repeat any of the crimes that you actually did to get here and you can see his eyes widen a little bit but then I... weird guy anyway <laughs> so spirit hasn't been corrupted what was that one about some nature thing uh yeah miranda said, said something about she needs another group to go up check on him it Apparently, over a couple of years, that she sends people to check. Uh, he said, uh, she said something about a forest guardian who gave her the seed for this tree to maybe grow this, something like that. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but as far out east as we are, and as far. And, that forest is another days to the east. The forest itself isn't safe, but the guardian of it is still alive. And then there was mention of a winery hidden somewhere. Yeah, yeah Jessica sure mentioned it yesterday. Right, she Jessica. hasn't told me where exactly on the map, but great. That means we sure. get the location out of her. Yeah, something about Church of Lorafor, so there could be some good stuff there. Apart from, obviously, the wine itself, which is good wine. Mm. Okay, then. And that, I already told him, uh, you, if you find a place with food, feel free. But right now, we have enough. Uh, you probably can't grow anything here, right? Or we tried a couple found. of times. The crops are small and almost are always unusable. It's not worth the time. Not worth the effort. Alright. I mean, the Ganser Hole would be a fairly good test run of... Uh... Us. <laughs> they 
do have a... I wouldn't say hidden entrance anymore, but... So what once know. was a hidden entrance... Um... They built their hold above a river, partially. And in the ravine that the river is in, there is an entrance that goes up into the hold itself. Um, was behind a big ass illusory rock. Ill illusion. Yeah, a rock that was an illusion. Um, but by now, it's just. I think it was the north side, they said. Actually, let me look, check that out. And like, he grabs, he opens another drawer. And, ah, oh, there's my notes on the Yeah, north side of the ravine downstairs. You should be able to get there. It should lead you. Yeah, it leads in, into the front room itself. I mean, that sounds good to me. I'm fine with it. We could try it, see what happens. Yeah. You should be able to avoid most of the undead that way. <sighs> but you never know those bastards. Hmm? And even if we have already fought some uh, zombies. <laughs> no, they've come across some zombies. <laughs> All right. They were in that yeah. house that you had your stuff uh, inside of. Yeah, and that might want for to that, next he time. he perks up very suddenly. Like every movement before, I was like very like slow and steady. And that he just snaps to like what? They were in the basement of the barn next That's to that house you put your map in. Oh no. What? Don't tell me that. Um, did, did you kill them at least, please? Of course. I mean, yeah. Okay. That's mm. good at least. But the basement collapsed somewhat. It buried yeah. one, I think. Mm -hmm. The zombie is not far out to the east, though. It's not necessarily a good sign. <laughs> the curse spreads? It seems to. Can't particularly say in the years that I've been here a hundred percent. It might be just things moving as they do, but I've had more and more reports of other things being closer to the east. And that's the furthest that I've heard of, even if it's just a zombie. Or what? Somewhat of a time limit as well. Yeah. Well, hmm. That's not good news. That would make sense as well with the vampires throwing in more and more prisoners as well. And you know, they didn't married. used to send prisoners there, they just sent volunteers. You mentioned it. Yeah. Kind of feel like that. They're getting desperate. Something has to be moving, and um, I don't like that thought. Ah, uh, but pay into that for now. That you're not strong enough for that to be a concern to you. Hmm. Yeah, you should get your gear up. Get your Skills a bit more honed, I suppose. Get a bit more actual fighting experience on it if you don't. But good to know you can hold your own at least. Yeah, and I mean, this hold or this place is probably fairly safe with. If you stick to the hidden passageways, it's de it definitely is. But they're already oh, the, the, the camp, and it's oh, uh, the, yeah, the camp with it itself is safe. Um. We've had, of course, some some incidents where a group or two of, of undead things tried to 
tried to enter, but more like surrounded the camp itself, but it never became a real threat. They Just couldn't down. Enter, right? Hmm? They couldn't enter, right? Yes, exactly. They can't enter. That's consecrated grounds, hollowed grounds, something like that. Again, that's Miranda's stuff. I... See. How many years has she worked on this? I don't even know. Long before I was here. Alright then. Oh, we should probably also tell Alexander that we'll be going to the Ganza Hold. Yeah. Oh. Let him have sort of a. Speaking. Voice. I think you all introduced yourself yesterday, but I forgot to write you down into my little list. I, I keep a list of everyone that's here, just so I don't um, yes. forget, mix up, whatever. I like to keep inventory, even if it's just inventory of people. <laughs> and you could seem like Paul Claus, or like a little ink pot with a feather in. The papers that he was like having stacked and a little bit earlier with memphis and shikari one of the top one he still has on his desk in front of him he turns it around there's still some space um you mentioned alexander yes He's... alexander the uh, monk of florathor monk of florathor okay uh, I don't know his last name yet, or if he even has one. Uh, there's enough people that don't want that to be known here. And don't judge. And like, uh, he not quite waves his feather, but like he, he points it at the general group. Thirteen. Uh, all right. Hmm, sure. What? However you like to refer to yourself. And he writes down 13. Fucking finally someone not judging me. <laughs> this man has seen a lot of weird shit. Last time I told somebody my name, I got interrogated for it in a cart. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's my trauma. Of course I'm gonna interrogate you about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my my name is Shikari. Uh, Shikari... Paladin and the... Uh... Wait, is that the fucking little shit that I see behind you? Wait, what? The dragon. Oh, you mean this, this, you, might, you mean this little dragon? He <sighs> Actually, just you know jumped at me and followed me. So he's gonna like turn around and look at the dragon It's like, Where the fuck did you get a dragon? And, uh, yesterday? Uh, downstairs? Ma Master's okay, gonna like look sure. over at the... <laughs> Master's gonna look over at the dragon and goes, Oh, okay. she isn't eating heart rashes anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Writes down your names, makes a remark next to him. If yes, yeah, there's a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Memphis will stare at the dra dragon for a solid like 10 seconds and just little creature. New creature, all right. Categorized <laughs> dragon. <laughs> Just like my mindfully process this. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah, I reacted that too. It just jumped on me, planted my face first to the ground, <laughs> and then we just became friends. And oh, now he, he he's with me. I hope he does, and I think he does. I like him. I just need a name for this little guy. We'll name figure that out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Moss is gonna like kind of clap his hands hands excitedly. Like, ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw out some names. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Moss likes animals. It's a, it's a little bean. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, um, 
Hey, look, look at look, that. Someone's Henry. as excited as me that you're here. <laughs> it, it almost purrs, just in the... It, it sounds almost oh. threatening as it's a dragon making a noise, but it very clearly gets a sound of affection as he once again and does his hand head against your hand. Mm. One second, someone's on my door. <laughs> Dorable dragon. Mm. I'm sad that I can't get a dragon in real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Oh, um, it's like it's it's the same amount of dangerous of like getting an actual tiger or something in real life, but still consider this cute for a dragon. It would be worth not for a tiger. I know, <laughs> but what it would be for worth for would be a red panda. I want one. Did you see them? That is so oh, freaking adorable. cute! Oh yeah! Like and to intimidate you think... Uh, but, what? what was that, Yasha? Why are we talking about red pandas? Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, we were talking about... I was saying that I can't get a dragon in real life, so we talked about the risk. Yeah. And then we, I came up with... You can't hold red pandas because they are... In German, it's raupt, Raubtier, I don't know, Predator in English, Predators, and yeah. that's why you can't hold them. Yeah. I mean, or you can, but you're not allowed. When did we get onto the topic of red pandas? Aren't we playing D&D? &D? <laughs> yeah, Our say, like, DM was away, back. okay? I got distracted because my brother brought me my burger. See, yes. I, I told Fun. you it's food. Okay, yes. so, going back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm just quickly going to say Memphis turns back to Henry and just like raises his hand to get the attention. He's like, my name is Memphis. And Memphis, then go back to right. studying dragon. <laughs> uh, and he looks over at Moss and uh, yours. Uh, Moss kind of perks, perks up and he goes, uh, I, I, I'm Mars. Mars? Moss and Rosa. Moss. Ah, okay, Moss. Yeah. yeah, all right. And <laughs> he writes that down, puts Quill back in the ink, puts it on, on the stack, and just puts the entire stack back. All right. Any other rules that we should know about this camp? Um, not so much rules, more things to keep in mind. Um. The people that are here are mostly those that like to survive rather than actually, you know, find find a solution. It's not so much that we don't have enough people that want to solve this, it's more that people that try don't, don't make it for long. They take risks a lot. Please look out for your own lives. It's it's important that we figure this out. It is not more important than you returning. Um, I'm other than that, be willing uh, to fight, but I'm not suicidal. That's good. It's better that than some. makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I do not say that, by the way. That is fully no. above table. <laughs> that, that is fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean my character, not me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just to be. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. He's like, yeah, that, that's. <laughs> Hell for and some people have gone to that. Uh... Yeah, don't. General rule, don't ask people why they're here. There's those that are okay with you knowing, it will probably just come up in conversation and they'll say it. Those that aren't will not tell you. And 
some of them have good reason. People are here on death row. Granted, the vampires throw some people in death row for just resisting them, insulting them in some shape or form. It's a little bit weird sometimes, but there is enough here that have done things they are not proud of, things where they deserve their fate. So for your own sake and the sake of everyone around you, don't don't poke around. Poke around, find I'll out. Keep that in mind. That sign People can't are... stop me because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> but you're willing to learn. I'm willing to fuck around and find out. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Already so to those two. Um, gold is not really worth that much here but people are willing to trade both items food drink anything as a physical value in that sense um some people will do it for tasks some people will help you but usually never for free um not sure if you've seen him yet we have a blacksmith he can fix your gear if it ever gets broken. Uh, oh, yeah, he's a nice guy. <laughs> Henry will look at you like, "You're sure you've I mean, met the same angry, but... same dwarf?" <laughs> Moss kind of like gives like a like a side shrug sort of, and goes, "Well, he's kind of moody, but like he he's pretty nice." I don't even want to know how the fuck you managed to make friends with that one. Um, <laughs> hmm. All right. I mean, well, fair enough. Good for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he, he always works for a fair price. Um, some small repairs he'll just do for you. If he doesn't have anything to do, he he gets bored quickly and rather swing his hammer than sit on his ass. Yeah. Um, you all met Jessica. Okay. Sadly, yes. You're if you me, want uh... advice from her, you'll already probably have to give her something in return. She can be reasoned with, but she, she does a lot of stuff just out of principle just because she finds it funny. Yeah, other than that, don't go too far west, and rather a board and excursion than risk your life. I said that already, but I can't stress it enough. On that, I have a little bit of like notes what people have found. This one, and she points at Memphis, already seems to be taking plenty of notes as he looks in <laughs> all of that. Paper. <laughs> Um, yeah. If you have a bad feeling about something, it's usually because that's accurate. Hmm. Yeah. Boss is going to raise his hand a little and he, like, speaks up and says, uh, Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any books or anything that's, uh, that has notes about weaponry, right? Like daggers, perhaps? Uh, do I have some books about forging? Maybe the dwarf has it right now? Oh no, here it is. I... What exactly do you want to know about it? Uh, I, I just want to know different types of daggers that exist. Why? He, like, he, Moss is gonna kind of discreetly whisper, like, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it later. But, I mean, wait, but, but, but why? There's only, like, three different types of daggers? If you're talking about knives, then that's a much bigger concept. There's 
multiple different kinds of knives. If you wanted to ask, you could just ask me. Well, there's this lady. Uh, Jess, mm. uh, was it Jessica? Yeah, Jessica. It was Jessica uh, last night, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, Jessica had this really, really weird looking dagger, and they kind of gave me the hippie jeebies. Did you go spying on other people in the camp? I was curious. Curiosity killed the cat. And I'm still alive. <sighs> only because she didn't see you, which is lucky. Well, that's literally, that's the only. <laughs> she has some weird weaponry, yeah, but she. A lot of that she found herself. She, again, doesn't share for sharing's sake. <laughs> I mean, if you could depending on what it was, it or draw it, I might maybe recognize it. You or know what? If we're actually that. done here, I'm gonna go find Alexander, and I'm gonna tell him that we're gonna leave for that that hold. What tomorrow? I'll get it as fast I as possible. It's about a uh, day and a half, two days travel, usually by foot. Alright. If you want to go downstairs, you might want to at least sleep a bit further away. That way you're out of sight from any undead creatures and then go there early in the morning. Alright. So go then the third day, yeah. Thanks. And right. uh, she will turn to leave. So unless anyone stops her, she's out. Memphis will hesitate, but yes. Yeah. Right. I I'm here. I'm just going to mute because you yeah, can yeah. hear voices in the background. You're fine. Uh, yeah. If no one stops her, Mem uh, Memphis 13 is going <laughs> to... Uh, she's going to turn and she's going to leave and go look for Alexander. Okay. Memphis will probably pack up in and then fucking Christ. Pack up his stuff and then uh, look at the others. Do we need anything else? Oh wait. Moss, you wanted you have dagger. Could you describe it or draw it? Uh, he thinks for a moment and wait, wait, you're very, very quiet. quiet. What? Come back to the mic. You're quiet. No. Okay. He uh he thinks for a moment and then he's just gonna raise his hand like that I I'd rather draw it. Oh yeah, um I can give you some paper and ink. Yeah. Um, yes. I'm gonna take. <laughs> he's he's gonna take the things and he's gonna start drawing. Would I have to roll for history? Um, since it is an enchanted dagger, I'd have you roll for Arcana to specifically have those enchantments be drawn correctly. The form of the dagger is not that difficult. Uh, it's a dagger. <laughs> not the best. Tried. Thirteen. Um. Yes. <laughs> I will never get tired of making that joke. Yes, oh, that's, God. that's fair. That is very fair. Uh, with a thirteen, um, you somewhat accurately draw it. It's not perfect, um, but worse. Um, it's definitely not perfect. Memphis, you'll have a little bit of a struggle to figure out what exactly the enchantment will be, but if you want yes. to, you can also do an arcana check on that. Yes, I do. Yes, I Jesus do! 22! Christ. 22. <laughs> um, you already have a little bit of an idea as like you see the first few symbols. It confuses you a little bit, because some of the symbols are very much off, and you know... That should be a bit different. Um, mm. 
But these seem to be uh, specifically elven runes. And while you cannot make out the exact thing, the exact detailing of the enchantment, because Mars obviously only saw one side of the dagger, and some of the runes don't make any sense to you whatsoever. Um, and you don't know just how much power was poured into it as well. These are, at minimum, daggers of returning. So daggers that if they are thrown, they will return to you. And from the description that Moss gave, they probably are have some bonus to hit on damage, but you have no clue what without seeing the daggers in action or just looking at them to yourself. Damn. That's a rich bitch. <laughs> she found some good shit. And he'll say, yeah, that, that is, I mean, the runes over here, I don't know what that one's supposed to be, but um, it's probably a uh, dagger of the returning, and then maybe those runes, if they line up like that, could be to hit better. But yes, dagger of returning with a bit more on the side. Ooh. Where did she get the dagger? Probably a Irganor? No, wait. Um, Irganor. Irganor is uh, the current region of vampires. This would be a dagger that she found somewhere here. Yeah, I, I, I meant to say Ir Irganor. Yeah, oh, Irganal, yeah, the town. Okay, yeah. Yeah. let me look at my own map. Why is this taking so long to load? Ah! ah. Why is internet being stinky? No. Mm, stop downloading porn, whoever is, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> The really good stuff. I paid for that. This Apparently, this is only a hundred kilo, a couple hundred kilobytes. This map, and it's taking me at least twenty seconds now. What the fuck? Um, uh. What you're saying? It, it could probably be one of the three um, major. Uh, ah, yeah, there. it would. Yeah, um, it's yeah. it's probably from one of the major holds. So Irguna, Laract, Porogon, or Plectoon? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Mm, but I, for, for that you would need to see some detail work that you can only really tell in person. Yeah. Uh, so, with that out of the way, I would probably check on Alexander as well. Um, if he'll pack up his stuff again and, and get up. I will see you at some point. Mm -hmm. You guys said you were going to leave uh, tomorrow? Yes, I'll get that book back to you uh, before then. All right. Uh, as people are getting ready to leave, you can start hearing rain outside. It's not full on stormy, but you can very clearly tell there will be a lot of water coming down. Hell yeah. Yeah, Memphis will not have any change in in facial expression, but he's excited. He 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 likes rain. <laughs> Alright. Uh, does Shikari and Moss stay, or do you guys also go somewhere? I um, would we'll follow them to check. Uh, yeah, Moss is also gonna follow suit and leave. 
Dear God, you guys are following me like puppies. <laughs> we don't. Jesus. followed. Granted, we don't have Just much I session think. left to go. <clears throat> However, I don't know what to do. So, <laughs> no, I'm good. There, there isn't a whole lot to do. This day is going to be a whole lot of rain and a whole lot of nothing. Um, but thirteen left quite a while earlier than the rest of you guys. So, uh. Did you know where he slept? Uh, no, that's why I'm going and looking for him. Yes. Uh, hell yeah. One second. Are you gonna try and, like, ask around or just look into every tent? How are you gonna do that? Yeah, 13's probably gonna look into every tent, because she doesn't really want to talk to anybody else right now. <laughs> Yeah. Just, and it's not like a, I'm going in, opening up the tent, staring at the inhabitants, and then leaving. It's truly just a, like, glance in. If there's not an Alexander, I'll walk away. Um, I'm going to say that you ignore the tents that you know you and the rest of the group slept in. Yes. Um. Roll me a... What the f Investigation? One second, my internet is now completely shitting its bed. Uh oh. Oh no. Hello, hello, hello. I... Hey, can you guys at least hear? Yes. We yes. can hear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, things are not loading. I think I'm going to stop the stream. Like, stop watching the stream. That way it doesn't eat more. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's already better. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, I, you look into tens. Roll me a d10. A d10. Okay, interesting. Uh, does not have to be a channel, so rolling a d10 and... <laughs> One. <laughs> um, the first ten you look into, closed flap, you open it. Um, there seems to... Please don't be fucking, words. please don't be fucking, please don't be fucking. They're not fucking, Thank but God. they are, um, getting dressed. <laughs> it is a halfling woman getting dressed. She's just gonna close it immediately, not even say anything and just it keep going. <laughs> you hear I've seen, Wait, I've what? seen soldiers getting dressed before, I don't care. Um... The, the woman doesn't even notice who peeked in, but you, you can hear her voice like, Who the fuck? <laughs> that, the phone is closed for a reason. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't care. She's just like, yep, not Alexander. Bye. Peace. Uh, you want me to roll it again for the next tent? Or? Add plus one for every time. Uh, add, so, d11? Uh, d10 plus one. Actually, you can also just roll me a d9. If you yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do that. Uh, advanced roller. Nine. Roll. That is not what I meant to do. Just just type slash roll 1d9. But that means it's effort. Fine. Slash <laughs> roll 1d9. Boop. Roll me the, the, the six. Um, six, you come across a guy that, uh, seems to be, like, the flap was open as you look in. Um, the human, did I say what his last one is? The human fighter is, um, uh, cleaning out some weaponry, putting it away, very clearly making sure that everything is off the floor. That he had on the floor because mm. it's gonna be raining. It's gonna uh, be be wet. Wet. Like last of you. You're looking for someone. Uh, yeah, actually, a uh, guy about this tall, and she like does Alexander's height. Uh, brown skin, long brown hair, wearing an amulet around his neck. And uh, oh, he went out drinking last night. Have bottle. Almost full bottle of wine with him. 
insight check. Oh, shit. Uh, if he is anywhere, it's going to be one of the tents at the edge. Like, and he points to like an area where like the outer ring of tents, essentially, will be somewhere there, probably. Yeah, sure. Yep. Check side chat real quick, please. Uh, sure. If you want to. If, if you want to, come in. Come here. I mean, if you if you hang over, your don't so doesn't do not sound good. German English words. Yeah. Way. Hey, hey. Yeah, he's day. alive. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hello. you sound terrible, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me I to kill that guy for you? John Mulaney reference. What? I hope. That what FBI the children? Is... Sure, that would yeah. uh, help. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You you take my role. Okay. Cool. Anyway, okay, cool. uh, do I go? S <laughs> oh wait, the guy didn't finish saying what he wanted to say. Uh, he went out drinking. Yeah, he... He went out drinking, and it was somewhere in that direction, if he's in the tent, it's gonna be there. I hope he's in a tent. If not, bring him into a tent. It's going. It's already starting to rain. Yeah, I saw that. Thanks. I'll uh, I'll go out looking that way, and I'm gonna go head in the direction the guy told me. So I'm going. You're looking into tents, or are you trying to just look around? I will continue looking into tents. While I go that direction? Yeah, you see a couple of people, like, get ready, uh, like, wake up. Uh, some people that are apparently, like, securing gear similar to the human fighter, but no Alexander in any of the tents. Unless you approach the edge, um, you can make out against the floor. Uh, I can make out, uwu. Oh, oh, you can make out of the floor. Go, 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 go touch the grass where it likes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but, but you can make out. There's, there is someone a little bit up, like at, at the edge of the circle oh, God. on the floor. You can't yet see who. I'm going to approach that person, because even if it's not Alexander, they probably shouldn't be laying in the rain. Uh, as you approach, and you see a bit more than just the boots, or flippers, or feet. I'm not 100% sure what Alexander wears that down there. <laughs> boots. boots. He has a no toes. No toes, Alexander. <laughs> um, just just you foot. Can... Just foot, just a stump. He, he's foot just... no toes. <laughs> foot no toes. <laughs> he ain't got no dogs. Oh and god. There's no dogs in him. It is, sorry. Yeah, but anyway, boots. I'm I'm approaching and I'm seeing more than boots. What am I saying? Yeah, the once you see more than boots, you can very quickly very quickly, yes, very quickly Thank make you. out that uh, that is indeed Alexander. Mm -hmm. Uh is he awake? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Thirteen is going to come up to him, and she's going to uh, kneel next to him. Uh, she's going to check if he's breathing first, so she's going to stick a finger under his nose. Um, <laughs> is he breathing? You, first of all, you can very much clearly tell he's hugging an empty bottle of wine. Ah. Uh. And you can smell that. Um. Jesus. Show them me a medicine check. Medicine, I have a little bit of stuff in medicine. I had to patch up my scars. That's enough. <laughs> okay, it's a cool. nine, but that's enough. It's not a difficult check. Cool. Yeah, he, he is breathing. Um, he's very clearly out, and you can very clearly smell the alcohol. Ouch, that looked painful, Kitty. <laughs> Well, not the first time I've seen a soldier drunk, and it won't be the last. Okay. Let's see. How am I going to get this fucker up without him decking me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have him in the throat. 
You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna don't, don't do that. I'm gonna try and like okay, is he hugging the bottle with both arms or just with one? Both. Both? Okay. He, he it's it's almost like he's holding onto a small pet that doesn't Aww. that just looks like it's my pet alcoholism. She's going to try and like take one of the arms around the bottle. She's she's not doing a ton of force, but she wants to try and take that arm and like put it around her shoulder so she can lift him up. Um Hey, medicine alarm. I was gonna say, Angels, when do you how deep do you want to be? Uh oh uh how alcohol deep in sleep. the drink. <laughs> uh, alcohol sleep probably not deep at all. Yes. He probably starts waking up as you pull him by the arm, and his first words out of his mouth is, "Wake him and Laura for walks the earth." I'm not sure if that was even common, but all right. And uh, at that point, I'm gonna try and like pull him up to at least a sitting position. Yeah, it's easily enough. Okay, good. Yes, setting is easy enough. I just don't want to... Carrying would be difficult. I don't want him to throw up on me, because <laughs> that's going to suck. Um... Uh, what do you want? It's about to rain. We need to get into a tent. Sleep this off. Child's play. Child's play or not, this last part of... Uh, Getting from here to a tent is about to suck. Mm, shot rain hasn't killed anyone. Maybe not, but it could get you sick. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, it matters, it matters to me, so... We're gonna try this whole standing up thing. If you throw up on me, I'm making you clean it. I'm not that weak. Sure. Uh, and at that point, I'm going to try and gently, not firmly, pull him up to his feet. Yeah, unwillingly he does. Okay, Yasha, am I rolling anything for this? Is Alexander just being a sack of potatoes, or are you also nah. trying to get onto your feet? He's gonna help when he can, but as he is being pulled up, he sort of, he doesn't look at... 13, but he asks, You care about me all of a sudden? Um, quick That's thing, make nice. me 13, make me strength, Alexandra, make me deck safe. <laughs> you struggle a little bit to, to pull the, the drunken guy up, but he catches himself weirdly trained and drunken movement for some reason with a nat fucking 20 on that save <laughs> nat 20 on a drunkard this is great it's not called drunken monk for nothing yeah point. <laughs> uh Mongrel the drunken fist although i'm not sure that's your subclass no i don't have a subclass true you multi-class yeah all right uh, yeah. gets you stable st stably on like just an arm around her shoulders Believe it or not, I'm not as heartless as you like to think I am. Mm. Heartless, perhaps not. <sighs> the world stops spinning uh, and can we start walking, or do you need a second? <clears throat> he uh, opens his eyes. Mm, can't say. <laughs> <laughs> he opens his eyes he looks at you he then looks out a bit more and then he turns around and throws up oh god <laughs> yeah does he get it I, on me no if he, he turns, turns around, around no okay uh. as he throws up he holds out a, a hand like one second <laughs> take your time <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh, the wine. Ah, whatever. Too late now. Then he turns back around. Uh, 
this is not Thorm. Where the fuck are we? The camp. Other side of the mountains. The one with the tree. Mm, uh, zombie land? Yes. Zombie land. Uh, that was a dream. Okay. Should I ask, or would you punch me for asking? I'm I'm pretty sure if I try to punch anything, it just points to where you threw up. Smart so move. So ask, so ask away. If you want to talk about the dream? I had my fair share of nightmares. I'm sure I could uh, at least lend a listening ear. I think actually being awake is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Um, the free, free city, right? The what? There's a, um, the, the quotation marks free city. Oh, that place, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he just takes a wary step forward as begins to walk back to the she's to going the to continue to stay like keep like keep his arm around her shoulders just to be like hey don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall <laughs> yeah um, there's a temple of lore far there one I one I grew up in um uh, you we on the elders we um we all sort of grew up together and, uh, mm, it was actually more of a memory than a dream. We, um, ugh, ah, fuck, fucking's hard. Uh, he shakes his head as he drags a hand through his hair. Mmm, mmm, uh, we were fucking with the guards, you know, the, not not the uh, normal ass ones, ones from the outside the city, mm. the vampire lords, mark or whatever have you. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a fun time. Were you the kind mm. of throw stones or throw eggs? No, 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 no. See, you take eggs. Mm -hmm. And you inject them with a little bit of raw meat. Huh. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just a little. Uh huh. So if they miss it, well, certain animals like raw meat, so, you know. He kind of chuckles a little egg. bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Laughter. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, uh, usually they get the egg bit, but not the raw meat bit. So, you know, being agile people we were, we used to saddle the roofs, throw one or two down, then disappear, watch from the crowd, and just enjoy the thought. Never had that one. That one's, uh, Creative. Watch this rock yeah. right here. Up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Hey, how'd you find me? I went looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, tend to find things you're looking for, even if they're not there. Yeah. Oddly deep thought for a man so deep in the bottle. Uh, as a drunken man's words is a sober man's thoughts or whatever it is. I wouldn't know, but I'll take your word for it. You never drank? Nope. Never. You should. <laughs> Why? This is... You want me to do stupid things and then use it against me later?
if I could do that to vampires, that would be amazing. But <laughs> no, alcohol is a um, what is it I used to say? A de depressant. Yeah, it's a depressant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I got on my men's ass every time they drink. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Don't die. He spit. He spits to the side. Uh, Which tent were you in? We have tents. You don't have a tent, do you? We didn't bring any. We get one. Or at least, I think there were two or three available. Uh, you can, you can sleep one. in the one I was in. I don't plan on... Uh, Using it very much, so. Baller. Just try not to throw up on the bed. I don't have anything else to throw up with. Uh, you will. Because you're going to drink some water before you go to sleep. Haha. <laughs> uh. You really do care. To some extent. Like I said, I'm not heartless. I don't... I don't look at humans and think, Oh, humans, we're terrible people. We're awful and we're dogs. I don't think that. Despite yeah. what some people like to believe. Mm. Mm. He, he nods sort of sagely. Mm. How close are we to the camp, DM? Um... If you're taking him to your tent, you've already like crossed the threshold essentially. Like you, you pass a couple of tents, some with their flap open, someone sitting inside, some are closed, but that seems to be the signal that someone's doing something that they don't want the flap open. <laughs> Whether it be sleeping or getting dressed or hey, other hey, things. Listen. Listen, to her, <laughs> she grew, she lived in a barrack, man. She's seen more cock and titties than, like, ever, and none of it was sexual. All right? I'm, uh... I'm, I'm not saying it is. <laughs> Ale Alexander... She's just an idiot. Alexander <laughs> looks at looks at the thing and says, ah, let's just knock on the door. Are you going to knock on the fucking tent? No, no, okay. sock, so, no, it's, it's, um... Oh, sock really on the door. That's what you yes. said. Okay, sorry. Yes. I my ears didn't process that. Uh, a what on the, what? Uh, he he sort of he goes to pat like your uh, your shoulder, but sort of misses and pats your neck a little bit as he says, "Oh, p poor sweet summer child, of innocence that you still have." I'm just not familiar with a phrase. I don't know how that equates to my innocence, but all right. And at that uh, point, she's going to, like, try and set him on the bed. Yeah, you'd yeah, be yeah. getting to the tent that you have. At this point, the rest of the party is, like, leaving the tree. Yeah, yeah he, he gingerly sits cross-legged on the, uh, the bed roll. Uh, Thirteen uh... will then uh, unhook the water skin from her belt, and she will hand it out to him. Drink. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he grabs hold of it. Thank you. You're welcome. This will make his way over to also that tent, because he also slept in it. Where's um, the rest of them? Mm. Well, he takes a sip. There's Memphis. I don't know what the uh, other two are. Good hello. morning, uh, sun, no. sunshine. No, he's it's going to sleep. <laughs> it's a waking nightmare. Bring yeah. me to oblivion. And wake me once more, Lord Far walks the earth. Just Is that a prayer? Sleep. It's a saying. Ah, <clears throat> uh, okay. It, it's generally just what we say when we when we want to be awoken when the world goes under basically oh, anything else don't wake us 
Fair enough. Because, you know, <laughs> he points at, uh, at the sky, or like the roof. Mm. If the fucking sun was close to us, do you know what it would do? No. What would it do? Fair enough. I don't have this nat- I don't have this skin color naturally. Do you know uh, what happens to meat when it's close to a fire? Sizzles. Fills. It chars. Bring oh. that heat source close to us. Oh, okay. And what would- what do we- So the mm. sun is like fire? What I've been scribed, basically. Okay. You know this shit, right? He looks at Memphis. I'll, I'll ask Memphis about it. You, uh... I'm, I'm presuming I know the son of the big ball of fire. <laughs> Goodness gracious, yes. great balls of fire! <laughs> <laughs> it's that, that is one of the few facts that is generally known, yeah. yeah. The, the son is a ball of fire. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose whether or not your character knows it, kind of generally known. Memphis Wood is not like, yeah, it's a big ball of fire. Yeah, yeah, Interesting. yeah. You need sleep, and you need to keep uh, trying to down as much of that water as you can until you get there, so. Yeah, yeah. Sleep well. And, it, and he just, his head sort of lulls forward as he's still sitting up, and there's a oh. sm slight snore that comes out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's, and 13 is going to try and, like, shift him slightly to lay him down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Memphis will chuckle the slightest bit and put his stuff away in the chest. And, yeah, try to be quiet around Alexander. Alexander. Uh, no, he's out. Mm. And, mm -hmm. Oh, you're still mm -hmm. awake. Okay. You want to... Mm. She kind of like gestures to his neck and she's like, do you want to keep that on or do you want me to put it in the chest? Uh, he, uh, he looks at you very, like, confused for a second as he's waking back up, like, hmm, huh? What? What? Your amulet. What It'll get neck? tangled in your hair. Do you want to keep it on or do you want it in the chest? It stays on. Okay. And she will, uh... At that point, straighten back up, and we'll walk to the uh, flap of the tent. And uh, he's gonna lay down, if he wasn't already. Yo, no, she put you down. Right. <laughs> she put you down, no. Alexander's <laughs> <laughs> dead. It's been great, guys. Put down the dog. I mean, what? Uh, at that point, 13 will kind of lean over to Memphis. We should probably let him sleep. Yeah, I'll write a note about it. You can read it when he's awake. Yeah, we'll tell him later. Yeah. And uh, 13 will leave and like undo the flap thing to keep it open and then just let it close. I don't want to interrupt too much, but thank you, angels, for coming in for that. Thank you, angels. Yeah. Mm. Have a good rest. Thank you very much for coming. Have a good rest. I'm going to sleep Take on the <laughs> Nay, nay, sleep good. Recover <laughs> well. No, I'm, I'm not going to sleep. Oh, you're not going to sleep. Okay. I'm too late. I need to, I'm going to pull out the hammer. I need to be there for the uh, fucking <laughs> session zero. Oh, right, 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 yeah. All right. Right, yeah. Well, drink I tea with honey. Never. This is a coffee house only. All right, I'll see you guys. <laughs> we'll see you. Take care. <laughs> Bye-bye. Alright. Yeah, well, to the point, 13 has exited the tent to let Alex sleep. Yeah. Um, Memphis will still take some paper stuff with... Essentially follow. Yeah. That. At this point, it is starting to uh, rain a little bit more heavier, so if you want to do anything that shouldn't be in the rain, you need to find another tent. Uh, is it like a like a tent where people eat or some shit? Yeah, like communal tent. Mm. Oh yeah, communal tent, something like that. There, there seems to be a tent that's a bit bigger than the others. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can hear some some stuff from there, but you have no clue what's in there. 
Uh, I look at Memphis and I'm like, wanna look at that or? I mean, if yeah, we can we can go over there. I'm not too fond of getting wet, but I like the rains. I don't mind being out here. As long as it doesn't undo the work I did. And she, like, runs her fingers through her hair just a bit to check if there are knots and there's not. She's like, all right, fine, cool. Do you want me to... Hmm? Go, go, go through your hair? <laughs> Bless you. Uh... <laughs> I mean, there's it's... a knot in the back that I can't reach, but I, it's fine. We can go uh, somewhere where there's not too many people. I know what it's like to have messy hair. I used to have long hair as well. Um, I can help with that, yeah. If you let me. She kind of shrugs. Sure. Can, is is the underneath the tree area? Is it drier? Somewhat drier under the lead tree. Yes. Sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you repeat that? The burger do is... be taking a hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was biting down as she said that because I'm half expecting a lot of this to be in between characters. So I'm sorry. No worries. Um. Is, does the tree provide cover from the rain? So is it a bit more dry underneath the tree? Yes. Um, the tree itself does provide some cover. Um, one side obviously provides it more as it, there is a little bit of wind. And it's starting to pick up a little bit as well. Um, it's not storm kind of wind, but the rain is indeed not falling straight down. Yeah. Uh, would you like to go side of the tree? It's probably fairly dry. Okay. <laughs> and they'll go there. Um. Uh, fuck, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, yeah, if, if, if you could just, uh, I don't know. Sit down slightly so I can. You're quite tall. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she uh, she'll sit cross-legged in in on the ground and like turn her back towards you. Yeah, he'll slit. <laughs> sit, plush, <laughs> kneel on the ground behind her and like go her hair, uh, detangle everything. Uh, here I have this, and she's gonna like hand you a kind of shitty brush, but it works. <laughs> Hell yeah. You'll take that and use it. Um. So, now that everything is calmed down a bit, is... Are you... somewhat alright after yesterday? No. But... There's nothing else to do, so... can teach you some things about alphabet and stuff. I mean, it helps that I know how to talk, right? It does, definitely. It wouldn't be a thing if going around grunting and screaming at people it would be quite intimidating. I knew a couple guys like that, but they only did that after a couple of wine bottles. Alcohol does things to people, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <sighs> <laughs> and he like catches laugh, and then be like, "Oh shit, that is emotion. What the fuck?" <laughs> and then, yeah. Um, Before any of that, can I ask you something? Of course. How much do you know about Lucifer and, um, Lucille? Yeah, 
lose you. Justice. Yeah, how much do I know? <laughs> Uh, that is a religion check for each god. So do do me too. Religion. Religion. Uh, uh, Lucifer first and Lucille second. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Yeah. Nineteen and twenty. Nineteen and twenty. Good job. Let's go. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah, yeah. Let me get the document. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry for being smart. <laughs> all good, all good. So, I'll I'll do this one at a time. Um, the God of Deals, Lucifer. Um, he is responsible, or not responsible, representative of every agreement pact deal contract ever made in the history of, <clears throat> of this planet so anytime any paladin takes an oath even if it is to a god he gets a piece of that anytime anything is bought any transaction made he gets a piece of power anytime anything happens where even without words there is an agreement like oh two predators looking at each other and being like yo no not not taking that fight and walking away he gets a piece of power yeah. as that he is also trying to manipulate a lot of deals and pacts especially like stuff like oaths and infernal pacts to benefit him so try and draw them out to last as long as possible. Um, or in the example of 13, take its power for himself if they're broken. Damn, he's a little shit. He stole my power. He's a little shit. He's also the only god that is choosing to live in hell. Or in the hells, in the plains of the hells. Um, his symbols vary a lot, but they current symbols include like one open hand for a handshake like make an agreement make a pack it's just the one hand instead of both of them or a single like scroll that has a signature at the bottom that signature usually is just a wavy line there's no actual name on it oh like an old styled x yeah, something like that as well. It, 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 that, that varies a lot depending on what exactly it is, but it's either a hand or a scroll in the current days. Other titles include The Devil, which you know he is not a devil, he's a god. There is a very important difference. And The Lord of Hell. Lucille. almost on the opposite of evil good perfectly on the opposite of evil good spectrum she is the goddess of justice so she will try to find the best solution in any conflict as such has some domain over like agreements to sell things but not nearly to the degree that lucifer does um she gets power from any sort of settlement in order to get the best for both sides she gets power out of any agreement uh, out of any case where a criminal is judged she gets power out of anything when people are like yes we are from now on going to be doing it like this she gets a little piece of power her symbol uh, there's two specifically. There is the um, scales, scales that are in balance, and a blindfold. You know that she is usually depicted as being blindfolded. Justice is blind. Mm. Um, and you know that while Lucifer is lawful evil and is lawful to a fault, she is lawful good and lawful to a fault. 
Uh, looking for my own notes. What did I have written down? Um, and with both of those numbers being that high, you know, those two are the gods that are in charge of divine and infernal pacts and oaths. They are the ones that rule in the case that something has to be ruled. No. You, you don't know the exact agreement that the gods made at some point, but every but you know those two were put in charge as the yeah, that is your domain, and it's Lucifer's domain mainly. But we also wanted to be fair for every god. There probably was some disagreement at some point. Yeah. Right, okay. So thirteen's question: What do I know about? What do you know uh, about them? And you know a lot. Alright, uh, Memphis will sort of take a brief, brief peek into his mind palace. Um, <laughs> and uh, just say, um, well, I, I know a bit about them, definitely. Lawful, good, and evil in the packed area. Um, why did you something specific? Specific information? She can only... She tries to search for how she wants to ask this question. Fuck, I, I don't know how I'm gonna ask this question. God damn it. <laughs> just, I mean, if, if, if she stays quiet for a bit, I mean, did something uh, prompt this? Thing happened? Mention Lucio? When. When I broke the oath. It was like my mind was in a different place. I, I was in this void, and both of them appeared in front of me and said I was on trial or something. They they called me something else completely. They, they called me Enya. Apparently, that must have been a name I had at some point, I guess, but either way, they, they put me on trial for breaking my oath, and then they completely removed it. Painfully. Yeah. I didn't know that could happen. It, it looked quite painful from the outside. Um... The, the pact that you made, the the oh, very, yeah, very fickle. Because it, I cannot imagine what happened in the, that could trigger the the breaking. Of, they're normally worded in a way that avoids that sort of thing happening. She kind of goes quiet for about a minute. And then she asks you another question, and it's very quiet. Have you ever heard of the Jerigo family? I know of them. Another vampire family, yes. Have you heard the name Calypso, Jerigo? I presume I probably have. Make me a history check to see how much you know. Okay. You have probably heard of them. That 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 DC is basically non-existent, but yeah. What her role was? But you don't need so, to. Oh yeah. You you know that she exists on 
she had something to do with the Joriga's slave trade, but not much more than that. Mm -hmm. I know of her. I, I've heard a few things. I've read some things, yes. <clears throat> I made the oath to Calypso when I was 16. I was supposed to guard her with my life. And apparently the first time I ever doubted her was yesterday when I broke the oath. Wait, wait, wait. The, the, the oath involved that you do not doubt her. Let me just pull up my document real quick because I don't remember the proper <laughs> wording either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember my own writing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yes, I am. Um... I will protect the Jeriga family with my life, even if it means death. I will place my unyielding trust in the Jeriga family and will never doubt them. And I will follow any order given to me by Calypso Jeriga, no matter the context. Oh. Valley. Yeah. Ha. That. And he, he sort of, his hands, for a second, takes a deep breath. It's like, I'm not going to be starting murder at the Okay. Sad. <laughs> and he, he leans his head down slightly, resting his, sort of giving a, 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 a top of the head kiss before pulling back quickly and, and just going through the hair again. Um, that is an excuse my language is fucking terrible. That, that, that's it was not me. how oaths are made? Or? I mean, as far as I am, I have heard, the oath is supposed to hold. That is I mean, she was basically setting you up for failure. Doubt is... I doubt things all the time. It, 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 it's natural. Give me a and religion it, check if you want to recall proper information about how oaths are made. I guess it's... Religion. Religion, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, for a fact, one, trust isn't usually never a part of any oath whatsoever. Yeah. It is a lot more usually about actions. And specifically, almost any oath only contains the word, I will do my best, not I will do this. Yeah. In order to uphold the oath as good as well. Keep it as resilient as possible as long as the person is still trying to fulfill it. The, the, the wording of the oath, I'm sure you know by now, very peculiar, very particular, because the, the, the gods are. they care about that stuff. And yeah, very you should never just say that you do stuff, you try to work your own way around that, because it. They, they they take things to the letter and it turns out like this. She could have said that you would do your best to trust her, but trust itself is such such an idiotic thing to put in it. It infuriates me. Jesus. I mean, gods. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, it, I, I, I don't like people being stupid. 
Is there actions? Um. Yeah, you did. You did absolutely nothing wrong, especially at the age of sixteen. Jeez. I. Just you. You don't need to make any promises to anyone else. It. You can do whatever you want. You. You have a ton over your own. Choose, trust, and what what orders you. In which context you can back. Please, just I. It's terrible. It's been terrible. I'm sorry that you had to go through. That. She just looks really confused. Just like... <laughs> I don't know what some of those words mean. But they sound important. <laughs> as, as you observe Memphis while they're talking a bit closer to me, perception check. Oh? 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 Me too, or just Memphis? Just you. Oh, just me? Just you. You are looking oh. at Memphis. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, who's doing the role? You're 13. Doing the role. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> the autism brain is very her. strong, and listen, I did a lot of socializing yesterday, so I'm also very oh, stupid. Well, Take good, I'm also getting a bit exhausted, so... <laughs> oh, good God! Oh, <laughs> that's a foreign perception. Yeah, you, you're just listening to words, and they sound uh, very fancy, and some of it sounds weird. Oof! There is nothing uh, unusual about this person whatsoever. About about Memphis? Hold up! What? Okay, I may be stupid. I forgot who who were what. You want me to DM you, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Be be a bit more specific in the DM. Who are we talking about? Sweetheart, <laughs> how gone are you? <laughs> Listen, the energy drink is wearing off, and we have been going for over four hours. That's why you yeah, why, fair I, why I try to not have sessions last longer than that. We don't have to do anything else, my guy. No, well, good, you're bouncing off of each other. I love this. <laughs> it's just that the moment I get back and forth, I've got to be a bit more... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this, this is all all you all doing stuff. So I'm, I'm not going to immediately stop that just because, oh, four hours now. <laughs> I don't care what you're all replaying. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very cute description uh, uh, of all players that just fight. <laughs> that yeah. was certainly words, Alex. I had no idea what you just said. Uh, same here. Give me yeah, one second. Well, the husband is home. Can y'all hear me better? Am I muffled? A bit, yeah. Oh, that way around you were talking, yeah. Do I do perception check? Yes, it was that way around. I I completely mis on misremembered. The husband is there. Hello, husband. Our husband. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Jesus, twenty-two. Okay. I roll good today. Okay, what's happening? I think we figured out the, the perception situation. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I misremembered the direction that the, that recognition thing was supposed to be. Well, um, Memphis, as you talk to 13, 
and especially as you hear who she was talking to, you remember some stories from the group that you worked with? Not the group you officially worked with, but the other one. Oh, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> of someone that for some reason had a good hand and especially when it came to like operations in the slave trade had a good grip on stuff and sniffed out a couple people there wait so you you recognize some of those characteristics in the person in front of you no wait Please explain again. My brain is all open. Explain proper. Um, yes, I'm sorry. All good. The people you were working with. Yes. Um, the reason why you got thrown in prison. Those people. Yes, yes. Um, some of their group tried to work in like the, the slave trade, try to get some people out of that, essentially. Oh, so, so the people of... That we're talking about or like working against slave trade yes described enya described 13. yes yes you recognize okay. some of those char characteristics from someone that seemed to be very good at sniffing them out and uh cutting them to their <laughs> oh shit. okay it's me yep. Hi. Um, the problem, <laughs> it's me. Um, Memphis will, will um, sort of, you know, process that information and then just hesitantly ask, did you ever um, go Brain's working really hard, just a moment. Did you ever, uh, break down a, um, an operation? I guess would be against the Joriga family? I did that multiple times, you'd have to be more specific. Were, were there like names the operations against the slave mm. trading stuff or the operations weren't named but it would have been um i guess the specific cell would have been called um the desert cell definitely don't forget to write that down buddy Yes, I, I am doing that right now. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> was, um, there was one, I, I suppose. It was the Desert Cell? I think. Yeah, that one. That one against, uh, I think, Juriga family. <laughs> and was, well, broken down. I guess you could... mm. Yeah, no, that one sounds familiar. Yeah, that was fairly recently, wasn't it? Yeah. I think, yeah, that yeah. must have been. I broke that one down. It wasn't exactly hard, they weren't subtle. <laughs> you learned perhaps also mm -hmm. more uh, in, the, in the Larno territories, were you? I've been there once or twice. Recently? Barely. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you happen to, um, bust a, uh, it's a, some kind of, uh, could call it a medical facility, a research facility, more likely? Mm. Um, most of my time in the Larno territory, I was on Calypso's guard duty. I oh. think I might have helped out with something like that, but not 
in person. I might have just provided some intel. That is, that is fair. The way you're asking has me uh, concerned. <laughs> I'm going to assume you might have been involved in that? Well, yeah, I... Yeah. Hmm. Um, I was a... <sighs> Let's call it a spy for billion. Hmm. Got the materials and uh, information. And... You see how I ended up. Didn't really work. The whole cell got busted, I think. Got a uh, bit injured myself. It's. I healed. <laughs> I hope you know I, 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 I don't think less of you for that. In fact, I, I admire it a little bit. Fighting for what you believe in, and all. I wish I could say I believed in it. You didn't? I... <laughs> Not really. I mean... Uh, call me a pessimist, but... Vampire regime. Quite a while. Doesn't seem to be weakening in any way, shape, or form. It's like I, I said to Alex a while back. Stronger, faster, live longer. Exactly. Just that... in order to... get more information, which was... I guess... I'm actually... Uh... uh the thing that I made a deal with help out. I don't know why. Maybe it was a good thing. Even if I'm now stuck in this wet, uh, desolate place. And he will sort of flick a bit of rainwater. Hmm, well. At least you're Almost not alone, stuck. right? <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, I am. Um... You're a bit of cellmate, definitely. Not sure how I feel about that, but, uh, I'll take it. I mean, say that shit. It's all meant very well. It's a uh, prison ward is not a good experience. I would prefer not to go back there, but well, sometimes it seems better option than I got. Maybe, but probably not. Hmm. Well, at least in this one, you get to see the sun. Do you look up at the rainy sky? Sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. It, it might be nice. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. That's all I got. Yeah. I was about to say, that's the perfect time. Pick up. Yes next week. <laughs> I was going to say this is about the time where it's say uh, I'm going to call the session. Yeah. There could still be some other stuff done, maybe even in the community tent, but uh, we have been going for long enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're I'm going to cook, cook the chicken <laughs> that's in the kitchen right now. I'm going to eat the yes. chicken. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out. It was a wonderful session. You Thank you, Angel, you. for chiming in a little bit and doing your drunken character, even <laughs> though you're sick. Please rest well and recover well. Yeah. Hope, hope Alexander doesn't forget that in the next day. That would suck. It's like, oh, damn, there went our bonding moment. <laughs>
<laughs> it's so adorable. <laughs> I tried. Anywho, thank you guys for coming out. I do appreciate it. We will be back next week. And uh, you should keep an eye on our community tab because we've got announcements coming soon. Tiki smiles. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will see you guys all next week. Nene. Bye. 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 Bye.